many clicks and buttons here. I'm already on, and I'm accompanied by Jeff Goldblum. That means today's going to be a great show. I'm lying to you. It's going to be a terrible show. I'm absolutely tired. I barely got any sleep. I spent my night painting Super Saiyan Goku, the perfect evening for any man who's alone with a small white dog. Nothing gay about it. What is going on in the world? Nothing good, I'll tell you that much. Nothing worth notice. Well, uh, Warhammer's been taken over, but that's been going on for a long time. Like the Wokies have been after Warhammer for years. And I'm going to say something controversial just to start it off. Why is it that every time um, the gate has been crashed, quotation marks, everything has to be about the sexuality or perceived gender of said person in the alphabet soup gang? <laughs> like, what is that? Why would you take the Astartes and paint them in these colors? It doesn't make sense. None. It's a dystopian nightmare world with tyranids, literal bugs that eat everything, right? Everything. Every living, they even eat rocks and pieces of metal. And then all the gods, right? The chaos lords, all of them terrible. Theoretically, the emperor of man is now a god and he's fighting the chaos gods while he's also like being a conduit for mankind to make its way to the warp, right? There's nothing good going on. <laughs> and still, there has to be representation. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, my God. Memeology is here. Big ups. I remember it was a long time ago. Real long time ago. I was talking to Memeology, or maybe I said it in the video. So this is probably like 2017 or something like that. Right. Warp. I almost said it. I have to. Where's my timer? I forgot. You put on the timer. Chat, you almost had me screw up. You know that I can't say a naughty word for a minimum of five effing minutes. <laughs> Livestream Gundam. It's so much fun. By the way, don't say anything controversial for literal five minutes. All right. Anyway, back to point. I was uh, talking to Memeology way back, and I remember saying something to the effect of the day Memeology stops covering Dark Side Phil and does different stuff, that's the day that literally um, he's going to blow up. And he did. In 2020, Memeology's channel, like, soared. Memeology got, like, 500K subs, right? Look how far he went the minute he stopped. I almost said a dirty word. Messy with Phil. Because basically, even covering DSP will limit what you can do. Even by the proxy of making fun of this man, it can limit your success, which is scary. That being said, podcasts, if they continue to monitor Phil religiously, they're never going to fly. Like, you might have to dump Phil, ALT, to just take yourselves to the next level. Could you imagine if that being said, stop effing with phil and then they became like the next cold ones or hot ones or something wouldn't that be like just an absolute bazonkers mind moment and you know if it happened dsp would go nuts he would he'd explode phil would just blow up on, <laughs> he'd blow up on stream or he'd stroke out or maybe he'd take credit for it knowing phil phil would be like uh hold on let me get phil out here hold on sorry jeff you gotta go i'm talking about phil to kill time and try not to curse. Welcome to YouTube. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Triumphant Phil. He'd be like, um, that being said, podcasts would have never become what they were today if they didn't start making fun of me and following me. And uh, it, it, like their success is pretty much mine. That's how it would go down. Oh, boy. Oh, two minutes, 55 seconds. Jesus H. Christ. How am I going to do this? How can I? I should, like, share, share some videos I was watching, but no, these women might curse. They're not going to do that. I was watching uh, this guy called Modern Women Archives, you know, and he's got these videos of these really picky women talking about dating. And this one chick who looks like, you know, a dirtier version of Daria. Remember that MTV show? And she's like, 
once in a year, I will date a 5'10 man. And unfortunately, the 5'10 man has come upon me because there's no one else I can date. And I'm sitting here like, you got to be, you got to be essing around, lady. You look kind of, uh, maybe I could just uh, show it without playing it because I don't trust myself not to have cursing going on. Oh, let's see. Here we go. Bop, bop, bop. I'm going to have to mute you again. I hear myself echoing. How dare you? God damn it. I hate learning stuff. You know, F learning. Learning is gay. Yeah, I want to just, I want to be laid back and do nothing. That's where it's at. I want to be like a Vader V. All right, here we go. This chick right here is like, she can't stand 5'10 men. And all I can think is, this isn't really a prize. Could you imagine that you're cut off from this woman if you're 5'10"? She's like, her minimum is 5'11". I'm at 5'11". And this is like the best that's being offered. You get a gassed up mid. I could understand like um, Rihanna and her prime going, oh, I don't date men that are 5'10 or 5'11". I go, well, it's Rihanna. But like some average... Very average white woman has this sort of criteria. It's painful. Why do men constantly have to just accept, you know, buy some like shoe lifts, my dudes. And then, you know, she won't know. Women can't count. That's just a fact of life. Time to check with the producer. What's on today's show? Well, we've got uh, we've got some Hassan. 40, 40, 40 seconds, so don't curse. Uh, no cursing. Uh, Hassan, we've got Alisa Jordana. Uh, oh, just, Alisa just, Jordana. I forgot about her. Yeah, we've got her body cam, the police body cam. That was What has she a, said about being on the show? She she did not respond. She Three times I asked her if she wanted to come on. Three times she said, link me your channel and the show. I linked her the show. Every time she acted like she, it was the first time I talked to her. She was that that out <laughs> of it. And her <laughs> Discord wasn't much better either. I have a feeling that she is on vitamins, if you know I what I mean. You're correct. She asked the cop to take a um, a bar while she was getting arrested. It's it's in the it's in the body cam. It's in the body cam. This chick is wild. It's too bad because uh, I was definitely going to ask for nudes and panty shots if she showed up, because I'm sure she has them. But I wasn't going to pay. I tried, Chad. I really did. Did you smooth? See, you you gotta like those type of women. You gotta you gotta like gas them up. Like, oh my god! I told her I said we could talk about Stern. We could talk about your music career. We could do it all. No, you gotta go. You're just such a gorgeous, talented woman, and it's a shame what happened to you. That's the type of way you have to come at that kind of woman. Because she's a mental case. I mean, a lovely woman. Just in case she chases her mind. <laughs> You're so welcome to come on, uh, Lisa. She's um, not coming. No. You sent her me talking about her with Sargon, and it was over. Yeah. It God was half it. and half. I thought it was a pretty even split between her and the simp and the pay pig. Yeah, I can't even remember what I said. Oh, wait. Wait. No. You fuck it. Yeah, I can curse. You, you, you. This is your fault. You know how it's your fault? Why is it my fault? Because you told her real age on stream, <laughs> you fool. <laughs> you were supposed to use her her celebrity age. 35. Instead yeah. Of, um, you had to pretend she's practically 29, dude. You don't know how know. to do this sometimes. She probably would have jumped through the computer right after me. Exactly. <laughs> We've also got that story about that uh, pro-Palestine uh, protester. No, that she's got not in trouble. thirty-five. Tick. She's like forty-something. Forty-one, I think. That's what her her, her mugshot said. <laughs> she even <laughs> talked about the mugshot in the uh, in the body cam as well. Yeah, she looks so ready to be like have a photo taken, but when she realized you're going to post her real age, that's when she got all sad looking. Right. It was crazy. Oh, um, what's fine. I, I figured we start off with that. I remember the uh, Palestinian protester that was talking to the city council that got in trouble. Yeah, I, yeah, we could play that, but let's not yeah, say gonna, any of the offending the, countries because you know how YouTube is. Okay, and I'm also I'm gonna have to bleep out two parts of this when she she actually says the threat. But uh, we, we have to bleep out a threat. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, she does it twice, but it's oh, fine. I know, I know where it's at. <sighs> this site sucks so much. Like you literally can't even say. 
anything. It doesn't make sense. You can say more in preschool. A preschooler could say this phrase and be fine in school. Kind of. Okay. Get the here dump button ready. Hi there. My name is Riddhi Patel. I'm here to speak in support of the city council introducing a ceasefire resolution, specifically the one um, United Liberation Front um, has drafted. I don't have faith that you'll do this. You guys are all horrible human beings, and Jesus probably would have killed you himself. You missed one. The thing I is, though, it's very one. clear to me as in someone who's been an organizer for the past <laughs> couple of years that none of you care because you you guys don't care about anything happening in Palestine or any other country where oppression occurs. By the way, pause this. You don't Why is she saying that Jesus would opt for, like, vengeance in that fashion? That's not how Jesus rolls. I, I don't understand. This person is a lot of hate in them well, for some reason. It's a progressive. Progressives yes. have nothing but hate. They're the most hateful group of people ever. Bakersfield, California. I believe this is where this is from. Oh, she got in trouble in California. That's when you know you really screwed up. All horrible people. But the thing is, 2,300 people being evicted in the last year, those are votes. And you guys, those are votes to win here in Bakersfield. And while you, you guys parade Gandhi around as a Hindu holiday called Chaitra Navratri it starts off this week, I remind you that these holidays that we practice, that other people in the Global South practice, believe in violent revolution against their oppression. All right, and this is where she says her. She goes life. off and yeah. threatens the lives of the council members. Off, she comes criminalization back. for she no comes need back. other than yeah. you don't like when people come and hold you guys accountable for introducing ceasefire resolutions because the only escalation in violence has been by you all. And so there's no need to continue. In the last five years I've attended city council meetings, there's never been metal detectors. There's oh. never been Ugh. more cops. The only reason you're doing it is because people actually don't care if you guys don't like them and they're actually resisting so you want to criminalize them. So regardless oh. of whether okay, you elect people into office, they'll backstab you they'll like all right this is where she take her away arrest threat. her now, another what, threat she doubled down uh, yeah this is her big threat so then the city council comes about to talk speaker please yeah get her get this liberal scum lance followed by kev followed by valeria miss patel they're like conferring with each other that's yeah. a threat right that was a threat what you said at the end and so the officers are going to escort you out and take care of that yeah beat her feet that's what i want to see <laughs> so he she she was arrested she was uh um, arrested for 16 felonies i believe um 16 counts of being retarded yes and let me uh stop this uh, there was a second video from the news about hit it, hit it, play it for her me. Her crying. Hold on one Good. second. Let me just see. That's what I'm here for. Let's yeah, see those tears. Part. Here we go. We begin tonight with your 17th court watch, where a woman arrested Wednesday after making threats to the city council was ordered to stay at least 500 yards away from City Hall in court today. Pro Palestinian protester Riddy Patel is charged with eight Wait, felony counts of threatening officials after. What the hell is California supposed to do about like. A ceasefire in another country. Is that what that was about? That's that's what they were about. I think maybe it was about like supporting businesses. Uh, I don't know. People are going crazy over this Palestine. They've got bombs flying in the airs. I'm over. I'm I'm not into it. But she obviously is pro Palestine. Pro being so, a jackass, pretty exactly. much. Exactly. One hundred percent. And now, she, now she's going to get eight felonies. These are really high end felonies, too. Her tensions oh boy. at Wednesday Someone's night city council time. meeting Probably when she made threat from a store lady. Threatening comments to city council members. You guys want to criminalize us with metal detectors? Uh oh. We'll see. Yeah. I got All it. right. Good enough. There she goes. What a very unattractive woman. A deputy like public England. defender entered not guilty pleas on Patel's behalf to eight counts of threatening a public official and 10 counts of making terroristic threats. She's due back in court later this month. We begin. Biocondiosal, stupido. Fuck around and find out. 
My question is, <laughs> I don't have it anymore. I just can't. I really can't with these people. It's just so stupid. Why is America so dumb now? Why can't we just do this to a whole bunch of protesters? You know, I don't support protesting in America for other country stuff. You're bothering everybody else here. We got our own problems. People are just trying to get to work. You got protesters in the streets blocking traffic. Why is it illegal to run them over? Like, if something happens to these people, really nothing will affect or change the country. I'd be hard-pressed to believe they pay taxes, to be real with you. Nobody paying taxes has time to protest conflicts in other goddamn countries. Because you're too busy paying the administration to fritter money away. <sighs> Check this out. <laughs> Google Cloud employees forcefully enters the CEO's office and threaten to stay there until Google cancels their $1.2 billion contract with the Israeli government. And then what happened? And then they, they're, they're, they got fired, as, right? As of showtime, I don't know. They this, have this to This was fired. actually two hours ago from Drama Alert. This is what Google deserves for hiring these people. Here, hire normal Americans for the love of Jesus. Find some guy working in a deli and give him a job. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy you want. You pay him well, he'll do his job. You won't get any trouble. Ah. <laughs> uh. Jesus H. Christ. Oh, dude. It just keeps getting better and better. Did you see like the flyers? I didn't show this to you. Maybe I did. The flyers when people cross the border illegally that say vote for uh, the current administration. I've, I've, I haven't seen those particularly. I've seen the ones that are like maps that show you how to get to New York. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like show that like show what businesses or what NGOs to talk to wow. along the way. What? What is yeah. going on? I wish I could find it, but it's been a while since I've seen it. Oh my God, where's Marvin Gaye when you need him? Illegals in the streets getting free food to eat. Uh, let me find it here. Official. I got so much stuff. Now that's Warhammer, uh, Stellar Blade, Ugly Characters. Dude, did I like literally look at it and totally phase out mentally? It could have happened. It was just too ridiculous. Absolute insanity. Screw it. Just move on to the next thing. I'm not going to find this anytime soon. Uh, okay. Um, do you want to do Hassan or Alisa? Yeah. Uh, whichever one. It doesn't matter to me. Let, let's do. Let's do uh, Alisa real quick. Yeah. That's All right, because she offends me so much less than Hassan. God, Michael Rappaport and like Fallout was the dumbest casting ever. Ugh. That was bad. We can talk about Fallout later on, but um, I'm I only gonna... watched like two episodes to so three. I need to actually sit and focus and take everything in so that way when I make my opinions about it and lore, I'm not all over the effing place. Because uh, most people that review this, I have a feeling don't know that much about Fallout. <sighs> oh, well. That's what how you matter? got your start, wasn't it? Was doing the Fallout Fallout mod mods, yeah, yeah. That was uh right before <laughs> the video game industry got really lame, and it militarized me, <laughs> or they, they radicalized me. Gaming radicalized me. So it was a tail end of Anita Sarkeesian, and I was gaslighting myself into believing Fallout Four wasn't that bad. I remember playing it right, and when it came out, I was I was lying to myself, dude. I was like a battered wife. I was like, um, maybe Fallout 4 is like easier because the beginning of the game needs to be simpler for new players. And then after like two hours, it goes back to being like normal Fallout. Yeah, that's what'll happen. And then I beat the game and I was sitting there like, oh my God, this is really it. This isn't like some sort of really long tutorial for people that have downs. This is literally it. Fallout 4 was garbage. If I could get away with beating some of the people involved with it with a copy of the game, I would do it. Like, without hesitating. Wham! 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 turn base RPG. <laughs> no. Unacceptable. You know, Elm from uh, Bethesda is a talentless hack. <laughs> He's the Kathleen Kennedy of Fallout. This dude sucks so bad. Fallout 76 was a game that should have never been made. 
I wish to God I could like make Todd Howard teleport to my house in Zill, Texas house. When we played Fallout 76, we literally got sick and vomited. And we never played it live again. That game, oh, oh my God. An online version of Fallout 4. These lazy pieces of dog shit literally just made Fallout 4 online. And it was so... People played the game, figured out you could command console in the Pridwin from Fallout 4. What the hell type of gaming is this? Love you, Papa Gundam. Want to know if you've watched Solo, uh, Levy... Lingard, I probably got that wrong. What do you think of it? I've never even heard of it. I probably read that completely wrong. I'm not going to lie to you, my dude. Thank you for the $49. That will go to me not buying Fallout ever again, even though I just bought like the Fallout Atomic Collection because I have an excuse. It has all the original Fallout games. And the last time they sold it, it like went up to like $400. So I had to have it at retail. Uh, Visual Orchestra, I probably got that wrong. $50 only. Papa Gundam can make me smile. We laugh at the world burning. As a bonus, I can roast these marshmallows over the smoldering embo- embers. Here's some Escape from New York cash. Thank you very much. This is very accurate. I remember playing Fallout 3, loving it. Playing 4, love, not 4, New Vegas. That was peak Fallout for me because the other Fallouts came out when like I was a little kid and obviously I couldn't play them. And uh, I'll probably check them out again later. Uh, here's some money for the Flea New York Fund. Hope you and Josh are doing well. Oh, Josh is doing better than you could ever imagine. You have no idea. I'm going to expose him right now. This dude, doing okay. he he sends me a video of a fucking Ford truck that's $200,000. <laughs> like, this dude's life is the polar opposite of mine. He's chilling. He's hanging up. Uh-oh, something's crashed. Well, We've had a major crash. The Zionists are coming. They finally shut us down. They've <laughs> finally taken us down. You gloveless pigs. Alex Jones was right. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is a Here, bad one. I'll, I'll pull you down for a minute and put myself up. I've got mine up until you can come back on. Uh, here, let me do I'll do a couple super chats while he's trying to jump back on. Steve DeLeon, $5. My favorite big bigot, my favorite mid-editor together. Uh, Steve with another five. Bam, bam, bam. Gone forever. Eat it. Memo 101. What up, my boy? Gifted one membership. Thank you so much. Uh, Diego Soros with the $20. I've enjoyed your content for so long as I have been truck driving. It's been about seven, six to seven years. It's about time that I started putting money on your books. Get out of New York and go west. <sighs> Uh, I'm never going back to the West. I'm going South. I'm getting that like uh, tax relief. I am so sick of taxes, dude. I hate New York so bad. They like forced me to be a business, right? Which this isn't a business. It's too stupid to be a business. You know what the f- oh, I can say fuck. You know what the fuck is like to fill out business forms and you have to look a guy in a suit dead in his face without laughing. And he goes, okay, what's your business, sir? And I'm like, I make fart jokes. I make fun of a guy called Dark Side Phil. And the guy there's like, Dark Side. Okay, fart jokes. We, we don't even have. And he's on the computer. He's like, we don't even have categories for this. <laughs> we don't have anything for this. I'm like, content creation. Uh, I paint tiny robots. <laughs> So anyway, you know, New York forces me to be a business. So now I have to pay business taxes every three months. That sucks so much cock. Oh my God. I give these people enough money to, I could have, I could have left if I didn't pay taxes. I could have left without paying taxes. They're thieves. Then since I have to also be my own employee, make that make sense. I have to pay taxes on myself twice. I don't understand this. All I know is I'm paying out the nose and not a dime has gone to fixing my driveway. You filthy cretins. Ugh, I don't even know how DSP like can't pay his taxes. If you run a business, dude, you'd have to be literally feasibly regarded <laughs> to not put aside money for your taxes. Uh, he pre-spends it. That's that's Phil's downfalls. He pre-spends money thinking that new money will always be there. 
Good for Phil. We did it with YouTube when they went through the apocalypse. You know what? Good for Phil. I'm glad somebody's screwing the government. I stand to his (laughs) feet. Being defiant with his tax money. (laughs) Because these people have been stealing from me. Bro, if you overpay on your taxes, because I've done it, they will literally take years to give you your money back. It's ridiculous. They'll owe you money while telling you to pay them. My brain hurts, man. It hurts. Oh. All right, let's see this Alicia Jordan. Oh, where's Meta PC with my new PC, by the way? Um, this isn't a joke. I haven't gotten any words back. I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah, it's only really been a week. Maybe he didn't see it, but we'll just we'll see. We'll see about it next week. But yeah, I haven't heard anything else. Meta PC. What type of question is this? Yo, Gundam, you a fan of Berserk? Oh my god. That's a goofy, you know the answer to that. Sorry, I just hit somebody else. I have a one-third scale guts that's half my body size staring at me, holding up a store, sword, laughing maniacally. Basically the dragon slayer, whatever. And now I have to take it down because it's a hundred pounds and the table it's on is collapsing. <laughs> I stand, you guts. All right, let's go. Taxation staff, hell yeah, brother. Only less than a year ago, right? Very less than a year, yes. Oh my god, my family is gonna completely. I bet she so humps they like a wild animal. They hate me anyway. I, I, I bet talk- you're right. I bet you're right. She probably made her way through all the Benji's crew. Oh I'm my family. So do you less think she actually year, nailed Benji? How do you? I mean, probably if like she's getting this dude paid her a hundred, couple hundred grand. She well, must he, at least let him hit it. This dude whole, has I mean, a couple hundred, so she's obviously boning that guy for money. But right. Benji, <laughs> Darcy Deflo says I can fix her. I'd like to see it. <laughs> Darcy's going to end up with a pain in your neck. She was fiancé to Andy Dick. I'm oh, sure. that was fake. Oh, hey, do you want do you want me to try to get Andy Dick on the show? Um, Like, we could totally get Andy Dick. I feel it. But, like, I don't think... I could handle Andy like I think I'd lose my mind. Andy's a mess. Yes. Andy is like just it would be a funny show though. Like, we'll have to talk about this after the show yeah, because we'll I'm like weighing the pros and cons in my head. Andy Dick shows up messed up. And I'm calling him a closeted homosexual for like I could end up banned actually, because they could call that bullying and harassment. It'd be pretty close. You yeah. have to turn around. All right, let's see what's up with her. This is when she's telling the cops, letting her know uh, she's about to be arrested, and they're reading her rights. Get out of spending jail time. I don't know if you will get jail time. I don't know if the state attorney's going to pick this up. It's just stuff Who's you have to go through the court. Right? You'll oh, go to jail. Man. You'll see a judge in the morning. The nice. judge will set your court date. Do you think I'm going to jail tonight? Based off the video, problem. Yes, I'm based going to jail tonight. Based off the video, can I take his annex, please? No, please do not take his annex while you're in my custody. No. <laughs> What a lady. Yeah, I know. Wait, wait. I am going to jail tonight? Based off the video that I've seen, probably. Yes. Is he going to jail? I don't know. It's for him to make this decision. I really should have been to the video. I'm going to jail tonight. I don't know why I didn't cut this in. I'm stupid. Like, I had Ludwig handle it, then I came back over it again. And I added it. There's a super cut in there. He did put the super cut in there. He didn't put the longer cut when. when I put that in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then whoever did. That's why it. I said, like, I should have threw in the extra stuff. Like, I didn't feel like sitting through the whole 40 minutes. I feel like an right. idiot now. Like, if I sat through this, this would have been a perfect segment on how a woman tries to process being held accountable for her actions. And you just watch the gears turning and, like, <laughs> stuff oh, she, is exploding in her brain. In every which way. Every which way but loose. Every which way but loose. Check this out. I'm going to handcuff me. I'm not handcuffing you right now. So right now just, we were just talking. And this Can you not have me from one jail to walk with you? you That's have to the reason have... why there's homeless people around because he just threw her out some in some road in Florida. <laughs> Good. Oh Anybody that God. goes to jail has to be handcuffed. If you were arrested today, where do you want? Do you want that car to be towed or do you want to let him drive it? Take your car right here. That's also up to you, but something happens to your car. Can I have my son? The, you gotta love the homeless dude who's trying to help. I, I'm just, I just, I just saw the guy right now. You can park it right here. I'll watch it. <laughs> do you want to let him drive the car? Do you want to park it here? Do you want to have it? You can park it here. I fucked up so bad. What happened? 
This is so I got too upset about something. I, I like it's slapped my boyfriend. Domestic uh, domestic slap so is a bad. nice way of putting it, honey. You beat we're, that man like a dog. Now, th that's not a cop, by the way, asking that question. That's another homeless man. There's a bunch of homeless men around. That's Look how these... even in the depths of poverty, men will still try to take care of a woman. Oh, yeah. But these are like old men. So they're from the olden times where uh, women were still women. They do not know how to navigate today's world. That's why they're homeless. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can park it right here next to my tent. Now watch it. You know, I'll sleep under it, too, when it rains. <laughs> you got <laughs> you know? the keys. It, would it be cool if I drove it to pick up my stash? <laughs> Rob, um, maybe I can help you out. <laughs> no, it's okay. I mean, we're taking care of it. Her car's right there. Okay. Look how the, the I crying Wait, what the hell's going fake. on now? Oh, no, my God. He's just pulling. He's moving the car. And a red truck. Yeah, yeah. We'll stop the I road. won't even yeah, shit in it. I there. swear to God. <laughs> he was the with homeless the blinkers kitchen. on. Yeah, he, he called us. <laughs> And then the, the red truck came back That's and her went green that way. Right there. The red pickup truck. Yeah, he's the one that called 911 for, for them. And the red pickup truck went that way. Where are the tears, lady? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just telling you, oh man, I was watching it. She's a manipulative <laughs> freak. The red pickup truck okay. stopped on the road. I advise them to stay in the car. <laughs> you move your car, I'll stay here with her. Okay, now that this is when the black car comes up, he just no nonsense. What? Of course he's no nonsense. They sent what? him to the black area, so he got no tolerance. What are you investigating? This area? Domestic violence. Okay, but, like, do you... You both were part of this, so we're still... But he's not really giving me any eye contact, the other guy. Maybe he doesn't like looking people in the eye, I don't know. Okay, but, so, at least you're giving me eye contact. Sorry, okay, so... <laughs> You think you're handcuffing me today? I don't think I'm handcuffing oh you. Think he, he might. He might. Handcuff her just for that. Yes. Or he is. Like it, so he's going to be the arresting deputy of whoever gets arrested. Okay? Somebody's getting arrested? If, yes, it's domestic violence. Those the homeless men are going to be talking about this today. Oh, no. so oh my God. Somebody's going to be going to jail? Yes. One of us? Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's going to be me. Did he see the video where he was like... Yes, he's, he's seen the whole video. He saw the end? Yeah, we saw the yes. video later. Yes. The end where yeah. I was I showed him the whole video. Yep. Even the end? Okay. I'm, I'm being arrested, I think. Yeah, he oh, gave a fair warning. He's gonna this watch is Florida, not California, bitch. He doesn't deserve to see that. Can you tell him to go away? The, he's going to watch me. Uh, what's up? I, I can't tell if we're looking at each other. Just arrest this lady, oh, god damn. Can you take your sunglasses off? I'm sorry, it's just like very intimidating. No, he doesn't need to take off his sunglasses. You're the perpetrator, bitch. You are getting arrested. Oh, oh my god! You are getting I'm, arrested. Oh, oh my god! Can he not watch? Can he not watch? Okay. okay. Don't I'm, let the homeless watch me okay. be taken away. <laughs> instead of cuffing you up right oh, really? now and putting you in my car. Okay. Sit so away the vagrants. Hold on for a moment, and you know, we're going to go through our process. Oh my god, oh my god. Wait, what does that mean? Can I just walk in the car? Oh, oh man. He doesn't even respond to I, her. I don't want to look at him right now. Okay, you don't have to look at him. Some kind of a mugshot? Right. Yes, bitch. <laughs> the wheels are turning right now. Can I call my mom? Please? 40 years old, call her mom. What can I say on this? Right. Hell, I'd probably call my mother too if she's in the area. Come get my fucking car. <laughs> don't let these homeless the people near him. Well, right now, he doesn't know what's going on. He can't hear what the discussion okay, we're having, so I'm, I'm allowing you to just relax for a moment. Okay? So I, I, I'm working with you. Jesus, what a nice Can't arrest. Good Lord. The homeless dudes are just, they're the so. best. The homeless, this is their land. That's their home. That tree right there. That's exactly. That's on their front step. Um, and that's why I'm working. Is a dining room table? Were, you know, not cooperative. I don't know what that red blanket like is. A, though. a lady. It's a bark I would have to a different oh, cool. Oh, no, no, that's a, uh, so I'm treating you like a, a, a that's broken. You know, our homeless live so well. They really do, especially in Florida. Like how long? I don't work in the jail, but I'm gonna. Are they gonna arrest this bitch? Do I have to sit and watch them like talk to her like she's a a child for like a good. 40 minutes. 
Pause it. If you're ever confused as how old a woman is, check out her elbows. Oh, For yeah. some reason, women, when they age, their elbows, their hands, that's the dead giveaway. You can come across some real hot chick and uh, yeah, check her elbows and hands. So you know, how she, <laughs> they're like tree trunks. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, so she gets arrested, and everyone saw her picture. And that's that's how... the most publicity she's ever had. I don't think she got that many views being Miss Howard Stern, to be real. This is the biggest thing she's ever done, and she deleted the VOD like a fool. She left know. that up. She let... I stole it, though. I ripped it. <laughs> I knew she'd take it. She's not 36, bro. She's 41. <laughs> 41. Her mugshot says 41. Her she mugshot says 41. Don't check IMDb and shit like that. Famous people do this all the time. They like change their age. Right. It's ridiculous. Google also says she's a singer. I know. Like, don't trust this shit. People are like she's 31, 39. Oh my God. Do we have to pull up the mugshot for the children? No, fuck it. It's not worth it. Okay. It's not worth the energy. All right. She's not getting any more uh, platforming since she's refused to come on this show and send me the new photos I requested. Um, I wanted to do real quick before we do Hassan, I wanted to do that. Who are these podcasts when they did Phil? Oh, like Phil, that'd be great. But dude, that's, that's so long. Like Melly Max can be on 50 minutes. Okay. Well, you want to do like, uh, we can do that later on. We could do some super chats right now and then we can, then Melanie, come on. All right. Okay. There could possibly be that many super chats. She's 401. Yes, that's right. She's 401, my dude. Here comes the music. You know, like that guy who's a rich kid, he's he's not even that popping. Because look at what he's doing. He's paying a 41-year-old failed celebrity to bone him. I know, and he's not getting any cloud out of it or anything. I know. When he was online talking with her, he was just the most awkward, sweaty. Did you see? Him? He was like wearing a silk dress shirt with a lovely blazer. Obviously, someone else bought this stuff for him. Uh, the black and he's, one. The, the yes, black and he's him, yeah. wearing with no t-shirt or nut, and it's ill-fitting, and it opens up. You see his fat belly. And I'm just like, God, if my son was like that and I was rich, I would probably get rid of him. <laughs> like, he would just be gone. Uh, the Hollow Knight, <clears throat> excuse me, from been a member for three months. Sub Gundam, guess who's losing their job? Woo, anyway, I appreciate the content <laughs> during my 12-hour 12, 12 days for the last few years. Oh, man. Bro, I, like, put up, like, the happy face as soon as I see the membership. And then it just goes, I'm losing my job. And it's guess like, oh, this laid is... Off. That's going to be such a bad fucking screen cap someone will use later. <laughs> They'll be like, it's a Gundam laughs at his subscriber for losing his job. It'll be like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're uh, fucked. Chaos. Been a member for one month. Here's my membership dues. And I just want to say, as someone who's trying to reach a thousand subs, DSP, constant whining really pisses me off. I'll tell you how to reach a thousand subs later. Contact uh, John. All right, chaos. Uh, Alex K with the twenty seek. I forget what that is. Will Melanie Mag be Gundam's future wife? Nah, she's too Christian for me. I'm all about Christ as King, but she takes it to the next level. But hey, then again, she would be a great end. Like, die, go to heaven, marry Melody Mac. She's got to be behind the Golden Gates, and I'll just be like, put in a good word for me with Saint Peter. Jesus Davila been a member for one month. Gundam finished watching Zeta Gundam for the first time. There are so many onions were cut towards the end. Sad emoji. Who was your favorite character in the show? Prop oh man, favorite character in the show, maybe most likely Shar. But you know, I'm trying not to be a cliche because I've noticed people on Reddit have picked up that the name I use also perfectly matches Shar's name. And I'm like, maybe I'm becoming too like fucking predictable as a character. Noah's Ark! Bless you, sir. The Salt, Salt Merchant, Merchant with $10. Man, I had no idea you've been streaming until this week. Just heard one of your tracks your producer played with lyrics. I need to be able to hear more. Also got It's a Fluffy because you're the best. Thank you very much, Salt Merchant. I talked to my drummer about getting back together. Former drummer. Because he's playing other bands. I'm like, listen, uh, we need to do some new stuff. So I'm going to get everybody else that used to be in my band to then force 
the lead guitar slash co-writer of stuff with me to get back on it. I want to play Coachella and then throw a rock at James Charles. Oh, wait, that might be homophobic. It's not because he's gay. <laughs> it's because I'm a bully. Most is like $5. Bakerfield is a shithole. Oh, that doesn't surprise me. The name says it all. Hey, that's a cool car. Uh, Haskell or Rascal with $5. A quick five for your Goonie fun. A question on the money. You like older bands? What's your opinion on The Clash? The Clash, all right. I was more of a cult, Led Zeppelin, Guns N' Roses, uh, Rainbow, almost anything Dio, really. Like, the only time I ever listened to Black Sabbath was when Dio was in it, which is sacrilege for a lot of people in the Sabbath, but, you know, whatever. Uh, who else is there? Classic Aerosmith back when Tyler and Perry were on drugs and hating each other. Peak for them. Who else? There's so many amazing. Thin Lizzy. Dude, the list could go on. I even liked The Who for a hot minute, then I fell out of it with The Who. But never really lost Led Zeppelin for some reason. You know, Paige truly was the hammer of the gods. You know how bad I want a 1959 Gibson Les Paul? I'm even looking at Murphy Lab replicas. I want one so bad. And I'm even looking at the Brazilian Rosewood versions. Absolutely gorgeous recreations of the 59. As close as you can come, unless you buy a Les Paul Jr. that was modified to be a 59. Then that's like 30, 40 grand for one of those. We could talk all day about like guitar. Yes, Rip, Rodney, James Dio. The man was a true blessing. Ah, I just can't. Let's just move on because I'll start thinking about guitars. Cameron Russell, like what you do? Do you only stream on Wednesday? Uh, yes, my good man. We only do Wednesday live at five. I might do random streams if I get time to play like a game like Stellar Blade. It's up in the air. But if I play Stellar Blade, uh, there's a good shot. Pesk won't be here to keep up with all of this shit. <laughs> so you may be disappointed unless you like watching me get wrecked in a game. Uh, I can see what my schedule will bring. Andrew Tanner with a 50. Uh, love you, Papa Gundam. Want to know if you've watched Solo. I think we've already read this one. Solo yeah, we did. Mingar yeah, we did. Uh, Raging D head with the $10. So I was called in the HR audio conference with the PIB because the American Society of Magical N words, long story short, still employed. Explain the context. Maybe some workers look stupid, made some co workers look stupid. Well, at least you got away with HR on that one. Usually they just drop you. That's it. You're banned, Byron. I saw that. Oh, my mods are going to handle you. You get wrecked in every game. You're, you're good as gone, son. Oh, wrong button. Oh, solo lovely. Thank you, Risk. God damn it. Darn Lacey with the five. The protesters in Bakersfield, a town referred to in, as the Nashville of California. She backed the wrong horse as opposed to looking like she ate the, a real one. That poor girl looked like Oswald Cobbapod from Ben. <laughs> <laughs> like that side profile she has. The hunched over look, the fat in the neck. That's how you know you're fat, when the back of your neck is fat. And there's like a lump between the two of them. The hot dog pack neck. Yeah, what the hell is this? I'm sick of body positivity. The only thing it's done is positively make this country porky. Uh, Cody Good Goodrow, Goodrow with the $10. Here's some money for your get the F out of New York funds. You know, I hate YouTube. Thank you, Cody, by the way. I'm looking at YouTube, trying to find something to laugh at while I'm working on my Dragon Ball Z tribute video. And the first video that pops up is why I'm leaving New York and has a million views. And I'm sitting here like, uh, they, they just rub it in your face because they know you can't buy a house right now. They know it and they're going to punish me. Kane Highwind. With the 50, hail Papa Gundam, thank you for sacrificing your sanity for our own. You reach out to Louis Rossman about all crap NYC's put him through. Maybe he can give you some advice on getting out of there. Here's some free get out of NYC fun. I think Louis Rossman had more money than I probably will ever have. That's how he got out. The best way to get out of New York is to have money. Like, you know, F, 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 I dropped my guitar pick. Um, you know, uh, here's something I hate. I should play like uh, Push T, Don't Like. It would be perfect song for this, but we can't afford the copyrights. I hate that progressive New Yorkers that had money 
voted in the retards that are in now, right? And then when things got bad, the same people that voted for Tweedledee and Tweedledum skipped town. They left New York. And the worst part is they're probably going to go to a red state and then do the same thing over again. Like if you vote for bad policies, you should be barred from voting for a state for like at least four years when you move to be fair. Ugh. Just to become acclimated to their, their politics. Yeah, seriously. Uh, short red 555. Hey, gun to my hope you get Drex, which is Nick Rakita's friend, Undead Chronic. Mugen Lord is guest on your stream one day. Keep your head up, G. Undead Chronic, you have him anywhere near you, YouTube will smite you. <laughs> <laughs> that dude, I think he does MGTOW stuff because I know the name Undead Chronic because people keep saying Undead Chronic. And then other channels are like, yeah, Sunday Chronic got silenced by YouTube. And I'm like, yeah, not looking to get silenced. I'm looking to get paid. I played the silence game for years. Now it's Papa Gundam gets money. Get that All right. bag. I'm going rice gums. Full rice gums. Jesus G with the $10. Always looking forward to your stream. First stream I've watched live. Hope you keep doing what you're doing. And I love watching your videos. God bless you, Jesus G. Uh, Space Eel with the 50. Money from Ar men, money for Argentina, just no. in case it gets really bad. I uh, believe me, it's on the table. Andrew Tanner with the five solo levin. Sorry, too many vitamins. Vitamintes. I'm all about the vitamins, like Cobra's wife. <laughs> Zandar the eleventh with five dollars. Gundam, will you try out the Fallout London mod for Fallout Four? I would love to play the Fallout London mod because modder created content is so superior to anything Bethesda is doing. Even though some modders have like uh, turned their nose up at me to be progressive, I'd still probably play the mods because I'm bigger than that. You can be upset with the artist, but still like the art because I'm an adult, unlike most people. Um, what I would like to do is get a PC from Meta PCs. And then port all my stuff to that PC. That would be nice. game. Uh-oh, we've got some shirts for you, kids. I'm going to sell it to them today. This is Big Red. Hello, Bigot. What can I say about this shirt that hasn't already been said? If you want to make a statement that is wonderful, fresh and fit, the type of thing that says to the HR lady, go fuck yourself. You vote blue. I don't care who. Then this is it. This shirt perfectly accentuates your muscles this is the athletic fit right here as you can see it grabs you at your chest area and your biceps very important when you're trying to impress women on top of that the sleeve is just long enough that you can roll it up and look even more badass while working on your car and or putting a pack of cigarettes in there now that's badass that's what i do Jeremy Andrews with the ten dollars Gundam. I got my classic T-shirt. My wife, my wife saw Gundo Garage and asked if I was buying more car parts. I said yes, so I didn't have to explain. Smart move. There you go. Uh, Steve DeLeon gifted gifted five memberships. God bless you, Huckleberry. Uh, Samash with the ten dollars for your escape from New York funds. Sorry, it isn't much, but I hope at least one of us can escape the blue state soon. I am stuck in California. I just got a text message from a woman telling me that she can guide me through Argentina. Fantastic. Uh, Whit Grebus been a member for a month. Can I take my Zany bars, please? Lol, I am dead. Yeah, she really went. She went for it with that one. I don't blame her. I wouldn't mind taking some myself. I mean, you're going to jail. What's the point? Might as well. Yeah, why do you have to be sober for prison? That's what I'm saying. Shaka Zulu 12 with $5. Love watching your Witcher mod videos back in the day, Papa Gundam. Wish we could go back to more simpler times. You stuck around at the very beginning, dude. That's amazing. I would genuinely think that people who caught me at the beginning would have definitely left because, like, it's a total shift. Remember how mellow I used to be? Talking about those mods... And then the gaming industry just got lamer and I got twisted. And Bethesda was blowing smoke up everyone's ass about Fallout 4. And I just fell down the pipeline. Then I really found out about Anita Sarkeesian and a feminist frequency. And it just kept going. Then Hollywood. And before you know it, I stand before you a monster. 
He Pony's Chaplain with the $20. I know you hate doing it, but the best stream on YouTube, hands down. God bless you, Pony's Chaplain. I remember you because of your icon. That's how I remember people. I'm like a bird. I remember like what things look like. That's uh, a real one. Technically upgraded YouTuber with the $50 in the snort. I would snort, but I can't. It hurts my little nose. <laughs> but I will give you the triumphant snort. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I can give him some, uh... How about you kiss my fucking ass and lick my ball? How about this? Band, 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 band. No, you need Ball's the one where forever. when we get $50 tips, we need the one where DSP is like, thank you. Thank you. Oh, and he's yeah. bowing and stuff. Yeah, that's, we need that. That's the one. Snoopy In fact, I want video of it. Here we go. This is the tips face. Yes. <laughs> Bless you. Bless all of you. <laughs> uh, Gundam would disown his own child like the Japanese do. I would. I would go, Tanaka, you have disgraced this family for the last time. <laughs> You've been cast out, my son. And then I bring in my new kid. Uh, well, I've, I've gotten... Lost. Uh, drove reviewing stuff for twenty dollars. You watch OPM. You hear about the third season coming out. The manga has just gotten better and better. OPM. I don't know the abbreviation. Could you tell us what that is a little later? I'll have to check chat to see if you pop back up. Because when I hear OPM, I think opium. One Punch Man. Oh, One Punch Man. I have nothing to say other than it's great. I love One Punch Man. I got Ziltex into One Punch Man because I was reading the manga before it became an anime. And the anime dropped. You know what? The anime is actually good. Thank God. Thank the Lord. Now, the fact that they're doing a One Punch Man movie in America, that's disgusting. I am not for that. Hollywood needs to leave manga alone. Please go away, you effing tourists. And if someone goes, eh, you're in gatekeeper. You're right, I am. I gatekeep the country too if they let me. I'd be right at the border, and I'd be like, Silencio, outenzi. Wait, that's not Spanish. And he tells, uh, uh, fuera, fuera, like that, you know. <laughs> uh, let me do this last one because Miss Mac just it's showed Lulu, up. It's Lulu, my uh, favorite Power child. Panda for fifty dollars, keep up the content, yo. When is the base anime girl getting back? on the lot because that was fire. I don't know where Kiersey, wait, now Kiersey is out of town. She is, I think house hunting. I can't remember. I hope that wasn't information I was supposed to. I don't even know where she is. <laughs> you know, all I know <laughs> is she's somewhere. She may return. All right. Well, let's uh, go ahead and bring her on up. Hi. It's everyone's favorite bigot, Melody Mack. Hey, I am so happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh, I'm surprised you're happy to be here. Do me a favor. <laughs> Save the F words till after the show's over. You can I'll fire try my away best. <laughs> this is what I love about Melody Mack, though. Like, she goes on Twitter, and she just completely gaslights the alphabet mafia to no end. And she just does it for shits and giggles. And another thing, like, all the guys in Twitter that complain, like, oh, she uses the F word repeatedly. I'm like, bro, you must not date women. Because women use the F word all the time. You do something remotely gay. Your girlfriend's That's just like, true. stop being it. Uh, 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 something it. <laughs> you know? A right, bundle of double. sticks. That's it. The bundle <laughs> of sticks. Yeah. I, I like how you went from chibi to like one punch. It's like one punch, man. You go from that chibi Boom. mode to that oh. <laughs> one punch. There. Oh, okay. Actual one punch, man. Oh, uh, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> I did it all for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. This is how you win the women over. Anime exactly. memes. Exactly. That's how you do it. <laughs> Any girl with a giant Laura Croft in the background is fine by me. Classic Laura <laughs> Croft when Eidos wasn't gay. Exactly. The real now Lara they're a Croft. bundle of sticks. They are. They really are. But thankfully, the, the classic remasters were outsourced. Those were good. So we have something. I did buy them the second I saw the... Um, the idos message where they were denouncing the game they're like this was made back when a different period of time and i'm sitting here like when games were good exactly and that's the thing is people that did deter some people from buying it because they were like oh it was made by a woke company crystal dynamics all that but 
Crystal Dynamics didn't make these. They were outsourced by Embracer to Aspire, and it's in Crystal Dynamics' best interest for that not to be as successful as their reboot stuff. So they were really sabotaging the classics by doing that, but it got lost in translation for some people, but I've been streaming the games and loving them. You know, I just saw this. Uh, B. Gross says, Melody Beck can call me a bundle of sticks any day. <laughs> If it Happy wasn't YouTube, oblige. she will do it. Believe me. Get on Twitter. Yep. <laughs> you don't even have to pay for a cameo either. That's the best I part. I know. I thought people were like, you need to make a cameo so people can pay you to call them the bundle of sticks word. I'm like, I would get banned so fast on there. It would just be like that. Oh, wait, you're probably right. You know, <laughs> if you got banned and Andy Dick did and that'd be a downright shame. <laughs> yeah. But you have a perfect point with like Crystal Dynamics. Like mm -hmm. uh, the recent Tomb Raiders have been kind of lame, in my oh, yeah. opinion. Yeah, and I think that uh, you know, for for modern AAA action y games, they're they're not terrible, but they're not Tomb Raider games at all. And then once you've played the first one, you're kind. It's kind of I don't even think you really need to play the other ones because, firstly, the actual story itself kind of gets changed in between the games and it's just kind of the same thing over and over we were told this is an origin story lara croft's going to become the tomb raider and it's just her become becoming the tomb raider doing the same thing over and over in all three of those games she never actually becomes the tomb raider and when crystal dynamics the developer said what becoming the tomb raider actually meant they said it meant being a protector of artifacts that's not a tomb raider <laughs> yeah we're here to steal stuff as a white woman yeah. Exactly. You get right. it. We're going to appropriate cultures all day long. And then before you know it, you're shooting a black guy in like a mask. It just <laughs> yes. happens. That's what it's about. <laughs> oh, well, I did hate those games. What was the last one? Because I didn't even finish that one. The last one was Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the last mainline game. Yeah, I, I think that it did. It was an improvement over some of the other ones and and the two before in some ways. Um, Idos Montreal did the the brunt of that. Um, and from what I heard from Little Birdies is that they did want to incorporate more of a classic Lara, some more classic elements, but they were shot down by Crystal Dynamics, of course. But the actual gameplay elements, you can change the difficulty with puzzles, um, combat, and turn shiny ledges off and stuff. So I did like that better than the games before, but still it's pretty much more or less the same anyway. Yeah. There's no fun to be had in gaming anymore. That's why I'm looking no. forward to Stellar Blade. I can't wait. That looks great. It does. Didn't the uh, guy who created Nier Automata just recently say that Stellar Blade was better in his game? And it just. Oh, he said Twitter. that? Yeah. Wow. Just Pass. Okay. Find it quickly. And I love Nier Automata. That was great. I love the costume designs and all the women that dress up slutty for it. <laughs> well, now all the like the woke people who are hating on Stellar Blade, they're trying to backtrack and say, oh, but Nier Automata is fine because that's representing cosplayer culture. They weren't saying that when it first came out. When it came, came out. out, yeah. Yeah, they and were all about her ass. Why can't Stellar Blade be representing cosplay culture? What uh, makes... Give it like two or three years. <laughs> exactly. That's the second Amaranth is like on stream in a hot tub dress as a near Automata character. That's when everybody will be cool with it. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, this is empowering. Amaranth stuns dressed as to be, not to be uh, Eve from Stellar Blade. Mm -hmm. And then she'll like do her really crappy pornography. Oh, my God. It's so bad, dude. <laughs> People think it's funny to send me. Uh, Amaranth porn yeah. and it's kind of it's about it's like either people are sending me package tuna because they think it's funny or it's Amaranth's <laughs> pornography oh and no it, she like fake sucking dick by <gasps> putting it on a wall or like putting it in a pair of jeans and it's a rubber dick obviously <laughs> and she's dressed up as something and I'm just like oh this is so bad oh my then I take goodness. my pants off <laughs> 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 I'm joking I would never do that I have integrity as a pervert believe it or not <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Here like it looks like the article. Fire Stellar away. Blade is Pass. much better than his game, but Stellar Blade's director says he feels Automata is superior. Oh, look, they're both being humble. How nice. Oh, that's the Asian culture, really. You know, For real, they're, yeah. they're bowing to each other on Twitter. 
Oh, yeah. I can't bow. I can't bow. I'm broken. <laughs> but another thing I really like about Stellar Blade, even beyond just, you know, the character designs being really good, is yes. that it's not, there's no, like, microtransactions or anything like that. You've got a new game plus, you've got a bunch of outfits you can unlock without having to pay extra. So it's just like games a classic used game. to be. Yeah. yeah I do stuff. have one gripe. I hate Eve's shoes. Now, I if they're just straight up stilettos, I... Because I Let's pay attention see. to these things. Look, oh. at, it's, it's terrible stilettos. You couldn't really run in those. Those would be very difficult to run in. She's. Why do you think her glutes are so developed? That's a good point. It just shows That's, you how amazing she is. <laughs> that is the trick. That's how she trained. You don't have to do squats with a squat rack. You can run in stilettos. I do respect a woman that can run in stilettos, though. <laughs> like, there's something about there where I go, oh, there's this one chick who was like kicking a soccer ball stilettos. And I thought, oh my God. Wow. And her legs were so gorgeous. That's why. <laughs> and then you two punished me for being heterosexual. Oh no, of course. That's modern day for you. You know, my personal assistant wanted to ask you some questions. Don't worry, right. a woman. Uh, her first question was, what's your opinion on the death penalty? <laughs> You know, I'm actually for the death penalty, but I do think that it, it would be a very huge shame if people were, you know, put to death that didn't deserve it. But we do need the death penalty for the, um, the kid diddlers and stuff. Yes. Yeah, I, it's absolutely necessary. I am for the guillotine and public uh, executions yet oh, again. Yes, firing that squad, that public hangings. Yeah. I'm the firing squad it. would really promote people learning good gun control and aiming, I think. That's true. They can be a better shot. They can practice. Perfect. Uh, the next question. If you could make a comic book like Chris Chan, which two characters would you mash together and claim it was your own? Oh, uh, uh, okay. Let me think. I mean, obviously, I'm going to pick Lara Croft as one of them. Um, but I probably would combine her with someone like Riku from Final Fantasy X because I like the the really Riku bubbly. Riku was cute. She was. She was adorable. She had a really bubbly, uh, spunky personality. So I would combine the two. I will admit that uh, I did like Final Fantasy X. Mm -hmm. X2X didn't really hold me that well. I can't remember if I beat it or not. I loved Ten Two. I think it's it's very underrated. I definitely don't think it's better than Ten though, because some people are going a little too far with that. But uh, it is really fun though. I mean, you get you get to play as cute girls and change their outfits and all. While that. they're like fighting and stuff, yeah. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. The next question: Do you think OJ did it? Yes, I do think he did. It's like the Armani shoe footprint exact same size as his the the glove where he pretended like it didn't fit him yeah he did it and yeah i think he has to pay reparations right now <laughs> yeah i forgot he's burning that's right let's see uh, uh let me check do you think still, the moon is one real? of the best police chases ever though do i think the moon is real i think that it exists as a light source but i do not think that the moon landing is real you know, I could possibly agree with that because we haven't seen to get back there yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a lot of the footage, when you look at it now, a lot of stuff just looks like AR technology. Me actually watching that stuff, that's what made me think, wait, this looks mega fake. <laughs> it was just to demoralize those filthy commies and we won. <laughs> that's right. Let's see. Uh. Uh, the next one. What is your favorite Jaden Smith tweet? Oh, goodness. I don't know. Jaden Smith. Is that is that Will Smith's son? Yeah, he's the one that says, like, your eyes aren't real or something like that. I can't recall any of his tweets, but I will go with your eyes aren't real because that's the only one I know. Hold on. Me let me too. see if I can pick up a couple of them real quick. Okay. I will have to beat my assistant later. <laughs> Which serial killer do you relate to the most? Zero killer? <laughs> Wait, what's the serial killer? Oh, serial killer. Ah, oh. huh. I don't know if I relate to a serial killer. I like, well, I'll just say Jack the Ripper because I think his name is really cool. And I've had Mac the Ripper as my username before. So we'll go with that. <laughs> Tell them a long winded story about how you served in Desert Storm and then say that was a lie. I probably should have read this first. Okay. So. <laughs> It was about me doing Desert Storm. Don't worry about it. 
oh, you did Desert Storm. You have to tell the story. Okay, good. No, I wasn't. It, like, I should have read it first. I didn't. Uh, this is usually what I do. I let people, like, run rampant in Dick Bag Productions. They just do whatever. And then later I show up and I make the foolish mistake of putting my faith in said person. <laughs> That's funny. Show them your fursona, fursona and then tell them what furry they would be. Someone's First getting fired. <laughs> That's not Ooh. me, by the way, chat. I it's think not if, Pesk. If I had a fursona, I would pick a deer. Because uh, deer have that. those cute eyes. I would pick mm -hmm. a deer. Yeah, but okay. you would probably be like a very antagonistic deer, I feel. I would. I would be a, yeah. A, like a, the type of deer that shows up in the yard when some people's kids are playing and then you hit them and that's knock them over true, and call and them I, like, Yeah. Hoof all over everybody who tries to make me go away or anyone oh, who tries to pet violent. me. It's like. <laughs> and then you give them ticks too while you're at it. So you're like just doubling right. up. Exactly. You get it. You get it. Here are the Jaden tweets, uh, someone reading them out on a YouTube video. If a bookstore never runs out of a certain book, does that mean that nobody reads it? Or everybody reads it? You, oh, you know that this like uh, apples today piano music to in the, the background is copyrighted, right? Value as an apple from <laughs> the, that piano? No, that one's not. You do Bro, they totally took it. Who you are okay, well then we'll just take the video, the audio out. There we go. So now you're going to read them to us? Yeah. Now, fuck that. Uh, we make Pesk read this trash. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you not know? Well, okay. I just scrolled through my tweets, and I started <laughs> laughing. I encourage you all to unfollow me so I can be left with the people who actually appreciate philosophy and poetry. Hashtag Cool Tape Volume 2. He he knows his artistry. He's, he's self-aware. <laughs> I just like showing pretty girls a good time, whether I'm physical. <laughs> I don't want you guys to think just because I was born in America that I actually speak and abide by English grammar. I speak Jaden indefinitely. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't even. I can't. No, okay. This is, um, th th I think this is just a product of growing up in a celebrity rich family. Uh, you, you have no, uh, you haven't really touched real grass before. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is really something. I, I like the one where he referred to himself as quotations, I. I. And this is 10 years ago. These are 2013. Yeah, he's wow. more whacked out now than then. Wasn't he like 13 then or something? God, I wish my father would, was rich and famous so I could be a complete douchebag. I'll at least give him, I, I'll, I'll at least show him a little grace for, for being like 13. If Twitter existed when I was 13, I, I I'm just really glad it didn't. <laughs> okay, he's 25 and he was born in 98. So that means in 2013 he would have been 15. Okay, it's close enough. I th yeah. I think yeah, I, I can show him a little grace. <laughs> yeah, when I was 15, me and my friends were recording ourselves doing stupid things like jumping from rooftops or it's falling funny downstairs. A lot of the things I did when I was 13 is the same that I'm doing now, like using the F slur and all that. So I guess it <laughs> wouldn't be changed. that bad. It would just be full circle. <laughs> As Chris Chair would say, you're young at heart. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Pink Look hair. at him. He is done. He's already dead inside. <laughs> oh, poor guy. I saw a video clip of him kissing Justin Bieber recently. They were like hanging where? out. Whoa. Like I think they were just kissing on the cheek or whatever, but they were getting pretty affectionate for dudes. It's a little weird. They unearthed that old Diddy video of uh who was it? It was Diddy and Justin Bieber when the, he he was discovered. They were all like horsing around and stuff, like, ah, buddy, buddy. Kind of weird. That yeah, very weird. weird. Yeah, I never kissed my guy friends on the cheek. That sounds pretty gay. But I think, yeah, the chat, like what chat's saying, I mean, they both were, they both probably have been very abused in this, in the space that they're in, uh, that Hollywood space. So sadly, that's probably true. I, I, I've never known anyone that didn't have an abusive childhood, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I would, I, I would say I did, I, I definitely didn't, but some people would consider it abusive because, um, the, I my parents use whippings for discipline. Yeah, everybody's um, parents did that. Come on. It's like that's not abusive to me. I'm very glad that they did. It builds character. It was corporal punishment. Yeah. 
<laughs> it was necessary. But yeah, I, I, other than that, no, I mean, all parents mess up sometimes on certain things or they get a little angry sometimes and then apologize later. I mean, that's human. Did you get to have like um, childhood stuff like Christmases and Halloween? Yeah. I mean, not Halloween, though, because very, very, very Christian household. Um, and oh, yeah. My mom was really scared of celebrating Halloween. And it's funny because, like, we're still all Christians, but we celebrate Halloween now. <laughs> but back then, mom was really, was really scared of it and just didn't. Uh, so we didn't do trick or treating or anything like that, but we would still, she would still buy us candy and we would do just like a little, our own little, you know, watch some movies together and have a family day for Halloween. Yeah, it sounds kind of similar to mine, but mine was more tragic. Really? Just checking. I'm seeing like what type of person you are, like what created the Mac? Yeah. Oh, I was homeschooled. That's a big thing. <laughs> Well, at least like you don't have the creepy energy of most homeschool kids. Yeah, that's true. I'm definitely weird though. And this the thing about homeschool no, I kids. I picked up on that. Is yeah, we can we can detect each other. Um when I, I don't know if you know Carma Carmaxla, she's kind of in our circle a bit. Uh she does a lot of she's really weird. Um <laughs> she does a lot of funny, weird video shorts and such. Well, when I was hanging out with her, Brittany Venti, and a bunch of people in her circle, she was like were you homeschooled? I said, yes, were you? She's like, yes, we can tell. We, we can sense the, the weird. It's great. <laughs> now tell me about these weird things she does. She's just weird kind of. I mean, she has like videos where she will, uh, she talks really weird and she's, and she's making food and stuff and she'll just grab it. Like, oh, let's make eggs. And then she makes it really gross. So like, it's like King Cobra. I Maybe. I don't know. Like, uh, very, uh, but autistic vibes. And yeah, that's the King thing. Is, <laughs> some people, they're like, oh, are you autistic? And I'm like, no, I'm not autistic. I'm just very homeschooled. Even my brothers were like, <laughs> were like, hey, what are, like, they keep hearing about autism and stuff more recently since it's more of a thing than it used to be it's like do you think we're autistic we're like looking it up and we're like no nah, we're definitely not autistic but we are very homeschooled that's that's the explanation that's a good point that autism seems to just blow up big now to be honest like it seems like everyone's got autism i know uh, definitely a lot more people than used to and i think some people think that oh no it's always been prevalent but they just didn't know it but i'm inclined to think Otherwise, I think it's just more rampant now because of a ton of different factors. The food that we're eating is garbage. Um, even, you know, certain vaccines and stuff, which I know is a very controversial thing to say. But yeah, and, and that's another reason why all of this trans stuff blew up. Because they prey on a lot of autistic people and make them think that, though, you're really the other gender in your heart. And that's why things have escalated as crazy as they have. Every single transgender person I know just about, if not all of them, are autistic. There's a connection there. And even in Ireland, they did a study, this certain clinic, a gender-affirming clinic. And I want to say they said 80%, if not more, of their clients were autistic. You so, know, uh, you may have a point judging by Twitter. Because yeah. every time someone, like, gets mad at me on Twitter and then they block me and I look at their profile. They always have the trans flag and they always say that they're autistic. They do. Or, uh, autistic, neurodivergent. They all have yeah. all of their mental illnesses listed right there in the bio. You don't even like have to speculate. Yeah, <laughs> it's all there. And they're proud of it. And it's like, hey, you know, I, I don't think people should be, you know, if they have problems, they shouldn't be necessarily super ashamed or anything like that but i don't think it's something but you seek to improve about. yourself rather than be limited by it yes which is and, usually how a male is supposed to live yeah and i think that um i i think that the better message with stuff like that is to try to help people through their um the, through their mental illnesses Instead of just validating that, like with the transgender ideology and stuff like that. I mean, that's why people call me a transphobe, because I'm like, I'm not going to 
I, I don't I don't like to to even use people's pronouns that are not what their actual biology is. First of all, because I'm a Christian and I don't think I think that would be disrespecting my religion. Um, so I don't do that. Um, I used to, but then I started feeling convicted for it. But even beyond that, it's like, hey, shouldn't we be wanting people? to get better and love the body they're in for, for people who love to push the body positivity movement. Why aren't they telling people who identify as transgender to, to uh, love their bodies? Well, um, the trans movement is a lot of money. There's yes. a lot of money in that. It's going to be a billion dollar industry. And that's why they're also pushing for obesity to be labeled as a disease. I know this mm -hmm. because I'm trying to invest in these companies now and become rich. Because <laughs> I'm going go. to capitalize on other people's uh, issues. <laughs> that's just who I am. I'm adapting. That's, I mean, hey, I respect it. <laughs> you know, it's so weird that like anime is so popular in our culture, but we kind of promote people just kind of being broken and sticking with it. I can only imagine oh. how Dragon Ball Z would have turned out if Goku decided, I can't go Super Saiyan Vegeta. I have autism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think theory. it would have don't think it would have made it nearly as many seasons, that's for sure. Have you seen that new streamer that uh has gone trans Fenster? Oh not Fenster. Wait, what is that? Trans uh, Fenster? A Minecraft YouTuber streamer that in 2020 was a boy. And now is this person. Finster just went down the oh. trans pipeline so fast. As a man who has worn makeup and rock oh. bands, there are lines you don't cross. And Finster flew over that fucker. <laughs> did it's he? Almost did like he... his chat uh, groomed him into doing Yes. That. They probably did. That's how it goes. Did he? Uh, did his follower count go up and all that oh, stuff? Oh, yeah. yeah. What? <gasps> just listen to this. Can I give you the most insane before and after? Look at this. Is that your brother? Oh That's my. me, fam. From like two no. years, from like two years ago. There, two trying. years ago. Why would he do that to himself? Just me oh, no. oh no! Oh no! There's That's a whole musical uh, montage. Why? And this is the thing: is he's not a bad-looking guy. If he went to the gym and ate some steak and protein, he could have been. A really handsome dude, manly, like masculine me. dude, just like you, exactly. But look, <laughs> I oh gosh, this is tragic. I I hope at least I'm it's going not to be fair to Finster. Few people can pull off black lipstick. I'll and give see, you that. Look, look it's, his, uh, it's very look tough. Totals, Fifteen thousand. It well, just it goes it up. Keeps going up. Oh no! Oh dear! The the streamer trans money pipeline. There oh it is. gosh. My ass is still broke. Well, he's got a gun, so I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And that's just one year right there. I hope he's not on hormones or something that's, that's going to actually. The next one. No, he's, by the time we get into 2022, we're on hormones. By now. Yeah, uh, that, like I said. That's a shame. Oh, well, yeah, no. Such is life. Wow. Yeah, it's it's definitely strange how like uh young men today kind of like just go down the trans pipeline rather than lifting weights. I know. And I think a lot of it too has to do with the fact that you definitely um, get more praise too. Yeah, and they found kind of a loophole there because let's just face it in society, uh people pay attention to women more, we get more attention, we don't um uh, like just there was that one example of a girl who lived like a man for a year and got so depressed that she yes, was a lesbian um, journalist. She, yeah. Uh, she was like, she was originally a hardcore feminist and she right. was very on the pipeline of men are trash. The world's issues are men. So she lived as a man for a little while and she saw the acceptance and love that we, we do. Uh, we're we, as men, we accept other men as long as you're not an asshole. It's a very simple right. line. Men can tolerate so much. You have no idea, Melody Mac. You think you know, but you don't. <laughs> like, a man can stay in a bad marriage if mm -hmm. he loves his family right. while women book. If you need proof, look at lesbian marriages. 70% divorce rate. The second you take men out of the equation, it jumps up another 20%. Mm -hmm. It's what? 75%. 25% more. So anyway, yeah. um, she hangs out with these dudes. She gets to know them. She creates friendships. And then one day she comes out and goes, she's a woman. And the men still accepted her. 
But the second yeah. she started dating as a man, she saw how women treated men as a whole. And it really like broke her down. And then when she told women that she was a woman, then the women became nicer and they were more open and receptive to her. Mm -hmm. It just completely screwed her worldview. And then oh, she yeah. uh, bubbled herself. Man, that is just sad. But I mean, I think that like, yeah, like I was just saying earlier, is a loophole that a lot of guys have found. It's like, OK, living as a man is hard mode. Nobody's going to save you. You got to like you. You got to just get yourself together. You got to. I would say know. in 2024, we have passed hard mode. We're in prepare to die mode. Yeah, it's it's nightmare mode. And um. And so because of that, it's just like, oh, wait a minute. They can start identifying as a woman and they are going to get some more attention for it or sympathy or this, that or the other. Because, I mean, being identifying as transgender, I mean, they're a protected class right now. They're one of the oppressed classes of people. Um, they're taking over women's spaces. They're getting special treatment. So a lot of, of these men are cracking under pressure and they're jumping on the trans train. What is this, Pascal? Uh, just, this was actually something that she, uh, I saw yeah. uh, repost. Uh, uh, this resident wants both a vagine and a penine. <laughs> <laughs> and they want the taxpayers of Canada to pay for it. And they have to. They won the court order. Oh, Canada is so fucked. You know, the I only know. thing keeping Canada from being taken over by China is us. <laughs> you Canadians really need to start showing some respect. <laughs> America's yeah. the older brother protecting you from the savage beating that awaits. This is insanity. Used to back in the day, because I grew up in upstate New York. And so used to, I had a little bit more of that upstate New York accent. And people mm -hmm. would ask me if I was like going to gaming conventions or something. Are you Canadian? Are you Canadian? And I just was like, oh, that's cute. Now, if people ever ask if I'm Canadian, I will take that as an insult <laughs> with the way that things are over there. No, I absolutely am not. I am American. <laughs> well, if I go to another country, I pretend to be Canadian just for the safety reasons, you know. Okay. That's, Everybody just hates that's America now. That is smart. Yeah, when I went to Germany once, I I went to buy, um, I went to one of the stores, and they're like, und closed, und closed. They would not sell me anything. And then I'll see another German walk in, and they're buying stuff. <laughs> they hate Americans. <laughs> they did there, at least, to so the area I was. Uh, it makes sense. We really suck now. <laughs> I mean, we kind of do. Like, I just blame oh. the administration. I blame the progressive movement for moving the balls from this country. That's why a lot of young men don't want to be men anymore. That's There's true. a certain level. I personally find being male a privilege in the sense of nature decided that I could take the emotional battery. <laughs> that that's good because because that's the thing is me as a woman the, the, all those woke people and all that they've tried to they they use emotional manipulation they actually use toxic feminine tactics mm -hmm. to manipulate people and oh but you're a bad person do you not have empathy do you not care about black people do you not care about oppressed people and this that and the other and that's how they reel women into their movement and um there was a time where it kind of drew me in a bit because it was like oh well i care about people and then i saw just how evil that they are when it comes to cancel culture and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And it's like, wait a minute. You're trying to ruin someone's livelihood because they they vote Republican or this, that, or, the, or because they said a word you don't approve of. And I'm just thinking, wait, my family voted this way or friends or this, that, and the other. And I would never hold that against them. And that's what really started to wake me up um, to everything. And then, yeah, I went back to my roots and I was like, wait a minute. This is all... This is all manipulation. They don't care about people. They're not these empathetic, caring people. Then that's why they believe the way they do. It's all about control. And it's a cult. And it's a counter cult to, it's, it's completely counter to Christianity. And that's one thing that's like made me lean more into my faith because it's like, wait a minute, almost everything that they're pushing is a direct contradiction to the Bible I'm just not about that. They think that promiscuity is empowering. They all their push for the alphabet mafia and all that, which is directly against the Bible, the gender roles and stuff where um, just complete all about this, like, oh, man hating and woman power and all this and that. Everything is just in direct contradiction to the Bible. 
that was one of the questions that I wanted to ask you is uh, – You've been in the industry for for quite a long time. You were one of the frag girls for Ubisoft, weren't you? Yeah, I was. Um, and that's you know that's one of the first game, girl gaming sets that I could ever think of. Mm-hmm. What was was there a specific incident that made you turn from uh, you know mainstream media towards your own way, your own faith, going in it your way, or was it that you didn't want to play with, by their rules anymore, so you didn't want to be a part of their entire setup i guess it was kind of the latter because when i first got in the the industry and i was first like into the in in, in the frag dolls internship program and then a regular frag doll i was a christian i grew up christian homeschool christian all that but i was even told by other people in the industry who had talks like when i was first in the internship with the frag dolls they were like hey you know they really like you they would love to hire you on as like a main member but you know it's your uh, it's because you are vocal about your faith and your your religion. It's just really off putting for them. It's just not a very acceptable thing um, in in our space and all that kind of stuff. And I remember just thinking, oh, maybe I need to just be a little more quiet about it and all that. And eventually, one thing led to another. And after the years, it's like I I started getting more ingrained in their culture and. And I was like, I don't like this. Like back to cancel culture. That's when I. That's what really helped me snap out of it. I was like, there, there. This is cruel. I don't like this. They were canceling people in the gaming industry for just stupid reasons, and I was defending them. Then I had. Then I started getting backlash for defending them, um, and then I started. I started saying, hey, I don't want to. I don't want to play by these rules anymore especially once covid happened and then the vaccines and everyone's talking about mandates and all that it was like all at this point i was back in my faith but i at first was you know still kind of keeping it to myself and not being that outspoken about it other than oh let me share some verses that nobody's gonna have a problem with right well then all these it was like pretty much unanimous all these streamers are like get the get the jab or you're selfish grandma killer this that and the other and i was thinking i need to i i wasn't getting the jab and i didn't want to stay quiet about it because i thought man these are people are all being bullied into doing something they don't want to do and so i spoke out against everyone wanting mandates and this that and the other and i said hey if you don't want to get the jab then you just don't let any influencer pressure you into getting it um, and just by saying that it was like 90 percent plus of my peers and all that um you just completely dropped me and i knew when i was saying it i was like okay i'm not going to be able to do mainstream work in the gaming industry again after this but i was sick of it and i thought at that time i was like i'm gonna have to do something else i don't even think i can stay in content creation because i thought i was gonna lose everything but i was fine with that i was getting my nutritionist license and i was gonna focus on that and personal training but um things ended up working out fine in the end i i lost the mainstream peers but then i had a bunch of actual real people who touch grass that supported me and um got involved more in in the community um from that side of things and hey i'm still doing i'm still doing content creation stuff just completely independent now and not uh not having to rely on sponsors or working for mainstream companies and you're you're doing a couple of shows now with the quartering and with side scrollers a couple of days of the week right yeah, I, uh, I, I'm on like a break from side scrollers right now because I wanted to focus more on um, this this new co-hosting gig I'm doing with uh, the quartering, and then I'm gonna launch my own Go Boom Live uh, stream once a week as well here soon. So I'm working on that. Um, but yeah, and speaking of the quartering, is he really had my back when I was first getting canceled a lot? And at that time, I wasn't. I didn't know everybody else in our space who were like kind of the rejects and not in the mainstream. So I didn't realize that there were a bunch of actual independent thinkers and stuff who didn't just parrot all this narrative, uh, mainstream narrative. So, um, so yeah, when the quartering, he just saw it on his feed cause we didn't know each other at the time and he had my back on everything. And then he encouraged me to make my YouTube channel, my uh, newer one, the go boom channel which it's like two years, a little over two years old now. And it's, it's done well. Um, 
What, it's and, only two years? Really? Yeah. Wow. That's, you got like 350000 on that. Well, that's wow. the other channel. <laughs> that oh. was my old main channel. That channel, oh, that's that's when I started like uh, two thousand, late 2009. Um, but yeah, I needed to start a new channel because I ruined it in the algorithm by doing all kinds of random stuff in it. So um, yeah, the cornering was like, start a new channel or you're doing like the the stuff that you like to talk about with the in the gaming's the nerd space with the nerdy commentary stuff and he really I like it I, I've been watching it actually and I saw y'all get into it with Fresh and Fit uh, thank you yeah, oh that, yeah that was fun that was fun we did the yeah boys, the Sim boys from Miami <laughs> that was fun I mean uh, the quartering's great I know that uh, I, I still get some comments here and there from people even from my own audience and stuff who are just like. Oh, I, I don't like him, blah, blah, blah. He's a grifter, this, that, and the other. And they call him a grifter because he does that. Well, I'm doing the same thing. So what? if you're going to call him a grifter, you should call me one too. Because I'm uploading videos and using catchy titles and thumbnails and all that. Um, but anyway, yeah, they they just want to hate on him to me. And I'm like, dude, I'm not, I'm not about this. No, I'm not forcing anybody to like anybody. But what I'm not going to do is throw him under the bus. He had my back and he is very, very loyal to his friends. Um, I've heard this not only I'm not only in my own experiences, but from a bunch of other people in this yeah, space. That's, that's what I've heard, too. Uh, I've I've talked to him a few times and I know a couple of guys that uh, have worked around him or worked, collaborated with him. And uh, actually, I. I did the story on uh, Ian Miles Chung when he was working with the quartering years back when he was trying to go after Worski, and that quartering had hired him, and uh, mm -hmm. Ian was taking the money and filtering it to another girl to buy her iPhones or something. It was like a real scent maneuver. <laughs> but uh, Jeremy ended up firing him, disavowing him, all that, so... He's a good dude, especially when it comes to legal matters. I've always seen he's been willing to put his uh, foot forward yeah. when it comes to legal matters. And that's, that's that's a big that's a big ask right there. Yeah, and whenever I had a stalker situation last year, um, that was really bad. And he really he helped me out with that a lot. And so I appreciated it. Got that resolved, <laughs> thank goodness, because that was a nightmare. <laughs> Ah, uh, thank my producer for not feeding me these questions before the show and taking I over. I had the bio ready. But Where is it? It's oh, like, my it's God, you're arm. close to the firing. You know. People in the chat yelling at me, where's Gundam? He's taking vitamins. He's asleep. I'm like, <laughs> oh, my fucking God. They're directing it at me. Sometimes oh, no. my producer has to take over the show. He gets all riled up. You may send him hate mail, not me. And I was At taking Josh vitamins. Pescator on Twitter. Anybody that wants to uh, to shit on me, these there people are getting pissed at me. I'm like, what the fuck did I do? Nice I to put a face in. to the name, Josh. <laughs> I can't jump in the middle when like she's explaining something and just go. So, what do you think of turnups? Exactly. I got a bit chatty there. That was my fault. Oh, no, that's totally fine. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, good lord, people expect me to do something. Turnips are good, by the way. My mom made this. She she made this like a, a it was like potato. What's that called again? It's like a cheesy potato casserole thing. But she replaced the potatoes with turnips to make it lower carb, and it was actually legit. You almost couldn't tell the difference. I mean, you could, but not quite as much as you would think. I can honestly say I don't recall eating turnips, but I'm sure I have. I just pulled that clean out of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanted to agree with you earlier with the weird sort of sentiment of the country in the sense of like, I've noticed Christianity can be completely shit on in America. Oh, yeah. Without That's a question. You could yep. dump on Christianity all day, but there's more protection for like Satanism. Yeah. Somebody and was like, cr somebody broke the, what is it called? A Bearmon or something statue of some oh. shit and the dude went to jail for it. I was so proud of that dude for for breaking that statue down. So proud of him. It was at some like government building too. At that, it's just a random place to have. Uh, I can't remember if it was Baphomet or which which one, demon it was. But yeah, he tore that down. And did you give him money so for bail? That's the question. I didn't. I saw that he already had reached his goal, and I was like, okay. He's oh, nice. Good. Yeah. I totally missed it. I would have given some money for bail. Like, fuck that. I would have too. Yeah. But 
that was that was very based of him. And we need to see we need to see more of that in Christianity, I think, because uh, one thing that society has done with Christians is they've they've forced this hippie Christian narrative and, oh, you're supposed to be controllable and quiet and passive and all that. And um, they've created like this fake hippie version of Christianity when Christians are supposed to be strong. So I like to see more more people like him doing that. Yeah, Christians do need to fight back. Like the the mm. Muslims, man, they seem to be fucking militant. I know. And they get all the respect they want. Jesus Christ. They slap around people on the streets. Yep. And then did you see where that um that bishop got that stabbing incident at that Not church? That just happened a couple days ago or so. And this this um actually he was a Muslim that was there. In the congregation, he walks up to him to keep stabbing him. One thing I'm really proud of is the congregation jumped up and got him off of him. So they they didn't act like wimps and they actually did something. But his knife malfunctioned. So a lot of what he was doing was just hitting him, essentially. It wouldn't, uh, it wasn't deploying. And he ended up cutting his own fingers <laughs> in the <Wow>. process. So <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> Did you tweet about it to upset people? Because I know you tweeted about a church that had some sort of like LGBT <laughs> stuff going on and it got struck by lightning Ooh. and set on fire, right? I got so much backlash for that. I thought it was hilarious though because- I know, because you pissed off Review Tech USA I... and like his editor, Jay. And that's something is like, Review Tech, he's not even a Christian or anything like that. You should, oh, you need to respect this church. In what universe does he even respect Christianity? He doesn't. Uh, he calls me crazy for believing in the Bible. So it's like, okay, there was this woke church that was having a pride celebration last year. And then right after that pride celebration, the church got struck by lightning and burned Nobody was in it. Nobody was hurt or unalived. And I thought it was hilarious. So I was making jokes about it, made a video about it. And oh my goodness, he just had a fit and a bunch of other people. Oh my gosh, how are you so mean? You're just, just so cruel. You're evil, this, that, and the other. And it's like, I don't get it. <laughs> how many times have you seen like trans people celebrate the death or something of someone they didn't like? And yep. it wasn't that big of a backlash. The amount of times I've seen the trans movement on Twitter scream for the death of jk rowling is mind numbing yep. and on another level i personally feel you can't really make fun of christians for believing in god when you could sit there and straight face look at someone who wants to change their gender and say that you believe in what they believe <laughs> it's exactly. it's the two sides like, you gotta re if you're gonna respect one person you gotta respect the rest you know i'm a yep. semi-religious guy semi okay you know i not like uh not gonna quote any bible quotes because i don't know them or remember them Right. But I'm also not going to persecute people too much unless it's for my own amusement because I'm an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> because I know you're a hyper Christian, but mm -hmm. you also have tattoos. Yeah. So a lot of people would definitely say you having tattoos is an issue. Some people religion. think that. Yeah. Because in Levitical yeah. law, they weren't supposed to have, well, they also weren't supposed to, the men weren't supposed to trim their beard or cut the sides of their hair either. So this was for entering the temple. So, um, that was before Jesus Christ died and the new covenant happened. And so in order to actually be in the presence of God in the temple, you had to do all of these uh, purification practices. I mean, even, even dwarfs, midgets couldn't be there. Uh, people with skin diseases, all that. Does that mean that they would go to hell? No, it was just a part of, of uh, ceremonial law for that so wait, time. Wait, hold on, pause. Yeah. Jesus was against midgets is what you're telling me. <laughs> well, this was when God before Jesus, uh, before Jesus came to the earth. Um, so God was like, he was going to be there in the temple and he, he was with the Israelites in the temple. This was after they, um, uh, escaped after God delivered them from the Egyptians. So he was actually there with them. And in order to be in God's presence before Jesus's sacrifice, all that kind of stuff, you just had to be, extremely pure they had to bury their poop all this stuff like every they had all these practices and, and ceremonial law and then also the they had to keep appearances that were different than uh anybody else who wasn't them and i my understanding is that's why they didn't have tattoos or that's why they did they didn't cut the sides of their hair or their beards because they needed a distinct 
appearance. See, all stuff I don't know. <laughs> yeah, know so that's that. But even, and I think that, and I don't think that people who, Christians who are against tattoos, I don't think they're entirely unreasonable for saying that. And I don't think that they should get them. But I think at the bottom of the line uh, with this kind of thing is having tattoos isn't a lifestyle thing. It's, so, it's something that I've done, some other people have done. That's not going to send somebody to hell um, when they've accepted Jesus and they're saved and they're living uh, in accordance to the Bible. So in that case, it's like, why are you getting all fussed about something that's not going to send somebody to hell? And I, I think that's a lot different than, you know, maybe trying to help somebody through being an alcoholic or a murderer. <laughs> I, I went to a Catholic school. I went to Sunday school and I retained so little information. Hey, it playing. happens. That's the thing. That's why I, I read the Bible every single day, at least one chapter a day. And I keep doing it because you do have to keep refreshing yourself if you want to remember it. Well, I'm just going to keep being a decent human and hope that's good enough for the big man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I'll convince you to read the Bible. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, hey, Jesus, remember that time I saved a guy from getting hit by an 18-wheeler? <laughs> And it's like, oh, wait, that's Gundam. Jesus that dude made gave it a easy lot of money. You made it easy for us. It's like in a courtroom, if somebody were to pay somebody else's bail. That's what Jesus did. So that's why there's a song called Jesus is Just All Right with Me. Yeah. I, I, I don't personally recall that one. But still, yeah, Jesus made it easy for us. So yeah, we accept you him. Make one this Jesus is my bail bondsman. <laughs> exactly. That would be great. Jesus is my bail bondsman. I love it because that's really the reality of it. And so, um, so yeah, that's the thing with accepting Jesus and his sacrifice is it's not like we're not going to live in perfection uh, even after that. But also we shouldn't be willfully living in lifestyle sins that God does tell us in the Bible that, hey, these thieves fornicators is that and the other will not inherit the kingdom of god it's like okay we can work on our lifestyles um and again reading the bible daily is what really changed my life with all that yeah i guess in today's day and age it kind of makes sense when you look at a lot of entertainment even as like a passing guy who paid attention to some religion in childhood you notice a lot of satanic stuff in music videos too yes like hand signs and symbols and i'm just like wait i recognize that it's because it's one point I was interested in not just Christianity. I was interested in Buddhism, Taoism, a lot of religions, mythology. Mm -hmm. Because when I was younger, I wanted answers to why the world sucks so much. Yeah. So I exposed myself to a lot of things. And then you remember stuff and just go, holy Christ, I thought this was a nice little pop song. But this chick is doing the poses of Satan himself. <laughs> I know. That's what's crazy about pop music. Because, you know, used to it was, oh, okay, you expected it in metal. And... It's, yeah, definitely. It sucks because I love metal and I, I like more like metalcore though than a lot. I, I get a lot of grief for that, but I like metalcore. I like um, new metal, all that kind of stuff. Um, and so that I do have some limitations. If I hear a song that's like direct blasphemy, then I won't listen to it. But other than that, uh, yeah. Uh, but so you kind of expect to see it more in that area. But it's all over pop music right now, which is crazy. We are in a weird time. It's really mm -hmm. weird to see how OnlyFans is being touted as like this yep. acceptable thing. And yep. feminism is pushing women to like kind of get into pornography. Ba oh, crap. I was supposed to say that. Basically. Corn. corn yeah. <laughs> like that's cool. But then if like a woman wants to be a stay at home mother, it's mm -hmm. oppression. It's the weirdest time to be alive. But my God, if you're a pervert. Oh, man. Are you eating good today, kids? <laughs> I know it's just like glorifying degeneracy and that's why society is just absolutely crazy right now the dating pool absolute insanity I feel really bad for a lot of zoomers so Melody it's Mac is dating what well I haven't been on a date in like two two years or so because like I, I'm just I don't even try at this point I'm like so if means... God will make it happen for me if it's his will I'm not messing with this dating pool right now it's a nightmare <laughs> it's like uh, there you go chat uh, somebody clip this Melody Mac is single <laughs> you could possibly shoot your shot as the kids say she likes metalcore she doesn't mind tattoos she's into Jesus what do you say? There we go, I guess. Uh, She's yeah. thin, too. Oh, my God. A thin woman in 2024? 
Listen, I'm going to pitch you to people, dude. Look at this. All right. Have you seen Alyssa McConti? She's a chunky little porker. And she is, I just saw, uh, was that yesterday or something? People were sharing screenshots of where she's watching live streams. Was that Hypnocast, I think? She was watching Hypnocast and screenshotting it and making fun of all of them for their looks on there. And it's like, have you looked at a mirror, girl? Hold on one second. Yeah, Yeah, I think. She's blocked me. Yeah, I well, I think she blocked me too. I don't know if she unblocked me because she periodically unblocks me. Yeah, uh, she is very childish. Yeah. What did she say to you in that private message? Oh, in the private. Well, because yeah, first for context for chat, she was wanting to write a hit piece about me. Oh, that's she's, obvious. She's had beef with me for a while, and I didn't even really know who she was before. Nobody knew till yeah. the Gabergate too. <laughs> but I saw like older an older tweet where she was like, she quote tweeted something I said because. Kotaku made some tweet and headline to one of their articles and it was was trying to say, oh, gamers don't respect women type thing, that whole notion. And I quote tweeted it and I said, Kotaku is gay. And so then she... <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> she quote tweeted me and she's like, once again, I'm asking Melanie to join me in Creator Clash, I think it's called. But it yeah, was, it was the, just the, so stupid. The boxing match thing, which first of all, we're not in the same weight class. That wouldn't be fair. I'm not gonna win that. I'm not, I'm I'm self-aware. Um, I and- like that about you. A woman <laughs> that knows where she's at. Very yeah. rare today. <laughs> Pay attention, so- chat. She's single. <laughs> and so then she she said that. And then later, um, just recently, that's when she was like, Hey guys, there's a certain female Christian streamer. Um uh, who pivots on her faith and who basically she basically was implying that I was a nobody and then I skyrocketed to fame because I became a Christian or because I started this Christian grift is what she was saying and she wanted to low key look for people to gossip about me for a hit piece she didn't tag me in it she didn't use my name she was just really um, underhanded about it and so I was on Friday Night Tights at the time when this was happening and people in the chat let me know about it. And I found it. So then I quote tweeted her and I was like, Hey, uh, if you want to, uh, you could actually talk to me if you want, but you know, here we are, this is very bad faith. So then she ended up emailing me. She wanted to set up or she was, Oh yeah, I was going to do that anyway, which wasn't true. Yes. Here's the, <laughs> here's the tweets. Uh, actually, this was the first one. A month ago, it was Sweet Baby Ink, then it was Black Girl Gamers, then it was Black Women Characters, then it was Community Managers, now it's Warhammer. Throughout it all, he show, he goes on shows like this, begs you to give him money to support his crusade, talking about Grums. And then this is, I'm not Michelle Obama, I'm not going high when they go low. Every single one of these guys looks like they don't let the water run between their cheeks in the shower. It's giving corpse breath. It's giving dry elbows. I know their toenails are crazy. That's just rich coming from her. You know, this is probably her. Like, this is so descriptive. She's probably talking about herself, to be real. I know. Like, Alyssa McConti looks like a hot, ragged, liberal New Yorker mess. The type of woman that if you got too close to, she smells a bit like cats when you're in line in Mm -hmm. Walmart. And the fact that she thinks she's cute is also another, like, mental whopper. Like, holy Jesus, who paid for her pornography? And You have to be horny. There's no way she had that. I'm I'm just not buying that she had that many people paying for her stuff. Oh, probably um, not. No, definitely not. I mean, yeah, exactly. Uh, what's wrong with that little boy? <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably watching us right now. Hate watching us. That would look us. good on me, though. I got to give it to her. <laughs> <laughs> She wanted to pretend like, oh, I was going to reach out to you. And she emailed me and um, we were going to set up a, a video chat. I was going to record it all and just post everything. But then the more I kept seeing her post and then she's a, a lot of videos uh, were picking up on everything going on, making content about it. And I thought, you know, I just don't seeing how she operates. This is in bad faith. I And I had friends advising me, you probably don't want to talk to her. And uh, they made some good points. Uh, like you have nothing to gain from this and she does. So I was like, Hey, yeah, you're right. Uh, so yeah, she's I trying t- like, hell to save her career at Kotaku because mm-hmm. God is looking to drop this crap. Oh, yeah, I can't wait the when onion. they do. Oh wait, they, they, they've offered to sell the onion. They sold, 
Uh, it was another property. So JNO was there cleaning house. God, I should have made a comic book and sold millions just so I could buy the onion. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder... used to love the onion articles. I used to read them back Pask, in the day. Pask, I need you to invest in buying the onion for me. <laughs> I'll get the agent right on the phone right now. Thank you. I want to do news bits and actually have a set and just do wild things. Like when the onion did this is a while ago. I'm not going to look it up, but there's a video of them talking about gays in the military. Mm -hmm. And the newscaster asked the general, how many soldiers is one gay life worth? And without skipping a beat, the general goes seven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> seven. You can't do that anymore. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, yeah, God. I feel like with how, of course, the onion would plummet and not be funny anymore with how you can't crazy joke, everything is now. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Every day you turn on Twitter, it's the onion, but it's real. I know it's actually real now. People have no sense of humor on that side. And that's one thing I don't get with people like that is why would you be proud to be a person that and when people are around you, they have to walk on eggshells and they're scared to offend you? How would it's, you be proud of that? It's so not fun. It's it's a new puritanical movement. The mm -hmm. The Christians of the 90s didn't have half the vitriol or organization as the modern progressive. And it's yeah. scary. And it's not even against someone like Marilyn Manson. It's against me. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Melody yeah. Mack, did you know that you have entire Reddits dedicated to you? I do. I have. I don't like to check those because they are don't full check of the... The biggest coomers who make AI art of me. Well, and I didn't find like, that one. Good. Because I'm like, <laughs> some people are like, oh, Melanie, is this? I've had some of my like friends and stuff. Oh, Melanie, how'd they, or how'd they get these pictures? Are these real? I'm like, that's obviously not real. I am not that endowed. <laughs> it's like obvious AI art. And I'm thinking, what the crap? Well, um, I'm looking for photos of you to Photoshop into the thumbnail. I fell down a Reddit <laughs> pipe hole. And oh, before gosh, I knew and, it. Oh. I was like, they, what? They're like, Melody Max feet. I'm yep. like, where do they find Melody Max feet? Then there's one where you're playing music on an acoustic guitar. And I'm like, I didn't know Melody Mac could sing and play guitar. And yeah, then this guy writes, then it must be, it was wild. This guy goes, she's singing about her desires to get her, <laughs> her rocks off and fully satisfied and filled with love. And I'm like, <sighs> What the fuck is going on? It was a song I liked from Architects. I was like, oh, this is a cool song. And it's in like my range to sing. Let me sing it. Reminded me of like 90s grunge. And so I sang it. Well, it got pretty grungy in that uh, thread I was reading. They're insane there. A lot of them hate posts about me too. Because oh, that too, yeah. Yeah, they're just like... Oh, well, and they're they're mad that they can't mold me into what they want me to be and all that. And it, it's really gross. I I I've I've checked a couple times. I was like, okay, I'm good. And and some people bring up different things, and I'm like, I'm good. I don't need to see it. <laughs> That's why tonight. I don't look at mine. <laughs> They'll be mad because I bet you, because yeah, some of them are they watch every single little thing I do. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I was at least they don't send you their like gay fan fiction for you. Like I've gotten my gay fan fiction in the mail. I read a few oh pages my. and I was deeply disturbed as wow. to how small my penis was portrayed in this art. I don't know who you are, but I hope that you die. A vicious death. <laughs> how dare hope you they die of herpes. Yeah, that too. You get monkey pox. Can I say that still? I mean, it passed. <laughs> Acceptable. All right, let's play that, right. that clip from uh, The Onion. Can you fast forward to it? Mr. Brandon. General, the military has been easing restrictions on enlistment in almost every area, on criminals, uh, older veterans, even those with serious medical conditions. But why not gays? Gay people are different, Brandon. Under no circumstances can we put America's homosexuals in danger. But homosexuals themselves are demanding the right to serve their country in a time of war. Gays of America are the only group left untouched by war. They're special, pure and rare, like a gleaming diamond or a snow-white colt. We must protect them. Well, has this always been the goal? 
It has been the solemn oath of every man in uniform to lay down his life in defense of America's precious, precious homosexuals. How many soldiers' lives is the life of one gay man worth? Seven. General, <laughs> tell us about the don't ask, don't tell policy, which many see as discriminatory. The reason we instituted that policy was because we knew we would never be able to keep out all the gays. To know that any of them managed to enlist and put themselves in harm's way, it would break our hearts. All of the top commanders know. We love them too much. So you're saying that the military's entire purpose is to fight so that homosexuals don't have to. Nor should their fragile psyches be subjected to the horrible sights that occur on the battlefield. Their pure minds should be reserved for thoughts of man on man or woman on woman romance. <laughs> well, thank you for clarifying this very sensitive issue for our viewers, General McBrayer. <laughs> you know what's sad? It's, it's very That's accurate. almost <laughs> true today. Yeah. Can you see, like, Pass, can you pull up the um, the other trans general we have in the military for Melanie Mack? Because we have, like, oh, three oh. now. Oh, okay. It, this, okay. It's a skinny one. There's a fat one. There's a fat old the gray navy one. one. The navy one. Yeah, the skinny one. Right. Okay. The... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. When World War Three happens, I'm skipping town, Melanie. I'm Goodness. going to Argentina. Yeah, that's... Either that or I'm going to become trans, you know. I'll probably try that. <laughs> <laughs> that could work. And all you have to do is identify. I mean, you could go, you could be they, them even. It's so easy. That one's the easy one. Like yeah. my therapist, when I was talking to her once about like uh, having emotions every now and then. Because a man does have emotions. You just don't share them. As uh -huh. Frank Sinatra used to say, you take it to the bathroom and you end it there. So anyway, my therapist goes, well, have you ever thought if you were trans? I'm like, no, like, I'm not what? lifting like weights to then become a woman. Now that's oh, the wrong my. one. That's the old oh, one. That's the older one. No, it's a younger that's one that's skinny with one. brown hair talking about something. Okay. It was on Twitter. I probably should have sent it to you, but I was just sitting there like, why do we have so many trans generals? That doesn't make sense. Like, I don't think China has trans generals. No. And that just makes us as a country look weak. That's a shame to see. And when other people are seeing even just all of our movies, all of our mainstream content that we have out there that the world sees, like, man, we look like clowns to you the know, rest of the world. There is a lot of LGBTQ representation and everything. I've seen yeah. more gay people in, like, Horizon Zero Dawn than I've seen on my block. Yeah, they're, it's overrepresented. There's more... LGBT people in these video games and movies and stuff than there are actually in real life. So it's pretty insane. God bless you, Jason. I would love to talk guitars, but we don't have all day for that. I don't even know how to turn it off. So I'm going to click you because you're here. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad at this show. Oh, we got uh, a big read that super chat real quick. So Master Gundam Mark, now that you have a show with the court. Oh, sorry. I'm thinking Mark Gundam. I'm stupid. So master gamer Mac. Now that you have a show with the courting, how hard has he shilled? What? Parasite, Parasite Eve? Eve to you. I, I haven't heard that game in years. Yeah, I haven't. Either. For a minute I haven't... there, I was reading it first in my head and I'm like, is quartering selling parasites in his coffee? <laughs> so like parasite <laughs> coffee brand parasite. This yeah. coffee will get you thinner than ever. Guaranteed one tapeworm per bag. I Use think code would, freedom. They would buy it. That They would do anything other than eat less. So I could see that being well, working well, just like this Ozempic craze has been. <laughs> All right. What does someone need to take to drop their body fat to around 15% from 20 to get that shredded look? I think I personally, my advice, I think the best way to actually shred fat and one completely underrated method of, of shredding fat is just walking. If you do, do at least 10 K steps a day, it makes a huge difference. But then also in terms of, I mean, nutrition is most important. Um, but I hear power walking is really good for fat burning. Oh, it is. Yeah. And nutrition's most important i think that um i personally i follow a carnivore diet i love it but i think i know i've seen you eat sticks of butter i do my uncle and used to do that it would make me sick it's delicious Ugh. but yeah i mean 
cutting cutting carbs, keeping carbs down really helps a lot. And I know some people really hate to hear that because carbs are delicious, but they do spike your insulin more than any other macro. Um, and fats spike your insulin the least. It's carbs and fats in combination is mostly responsible for making people obese. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, look at stuff like cake, pizza, all that. Mm -hmm. It's mostly carbs and fat. So if you're mostly eating protein, you can you can do protein and carbs and get good results, but it's healthier to, to focus mostly on protein. Well, and it's fat. hard to have anything without any carbs in it, in my opinion, these days. It kind of is. Yeah. Unless you're eating. I mean, the way I eat is pretty much almost no carbs because I eat steak and ground beef and eggs. Um, I think. All right. Like I'll try that. Carbs <laughs> I usually keep myself to 120 grams of protein a day. Okay. Just okay. to maintain my muscle. Yeah, it's yeah. very important. I look masculine, you know. I do For admit sure. that when I'm getting those gains, I look in the mirror a little too long at myself, and I, I often flex when I don't need to. I turn into King Cobra. Basically. He's late to stream. Yeah, <laughs> that's the reason why he's always late to stream. He's sitting there flexing in the mirror. <laughs> Dude, you're it. sitting here telling me I look like Captain America. It was over after that. Yeah, I was if like, you really, all right. If you really want to do a cut, it helps to do just kind of a boring food. Um, some people I know. Uh, Camelot, he was just here in chat earlier. He does like chicken breast and broccoli. I remember him saying that. Yeah, um, he just does chicken daily. breast and broccoli, and that's it for his cut. Um, and uh, so yeah, even if you just said, okay, steak and eggs, that's a really good food for cutting. I mean, steak's kind of expensive, but if you did just everything's even, expensive. I know, even just ground beef and eggs, um, that's really good for cutting fat. So yeah, all right. Uh, speaking of Camelot, I know uh Gundam hates it when I promote this, but I love his new NASCAR, the new ARCA car. You cut me off when I'm talking and you promote it. Like, I'll sit there and sleep <laughs> in the book. Camelot, he's the got a really cool man. car. It's, but NASCAR is big down here. You don't understand. But I just want to show yeah, you. Yeah, I'm a MotoGP uh, guy. You, Camelot, get on a motorcycle. I'll be more interested. <laughs> uh, this is new car with him and uh, Ethan Van Skyver, their new Cyberfrog car in Talladega this weekend. Look at this beautiful beast. It's very green and it's actually much nicer than the actual 3D render. It's pretty insane. Um, got the, the Ilmore engine in it, all, all the good stuff. It's going to be a fast piece. And uh, so I'm about to get fitted in this car. And just take a look at this. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I think right they did here. over $125,000. What a dream. Go fund me to get that sponsored and that wrap. All right, then. There. We're opening. Here to talk. We're opening a GoFundMe for me to get a WSBK level Ducati Pentagali V4R. We can do then, it. We can yeah, let's do, do that. Then I'm gonna try and ride it and not die on a racetrack. I want because, a, hmm? I want a Gojo skin for my uh for my Honda Fit. So I'm gonna start a campaign for that. <laughs> Honda Fit. I remember those. <laughs> the hell's a Honda Fit? It's uh it's an economy car. It's cute. Ah, oh, <laughs> god damn it! It's the I little square it. one, right? If I'm remembering correctly, is it the square one or the more rounded one? It's more. You gotta rounded. have it's enough cash to put like that on your car. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't be that much. It'd be an affordable right, go find me. I'll talk to uh, somebody I know who does decal work on motorcycles for race bikes. We'll okay. put Gojo on a car for you. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you think I'm joking, but we can do it. All right, I would. Dude, all, all I have to do is call in a couple favors, like, "Hey, Scott, guess who? It's Gundam. Long time no see. Uh, I, can you get me a Gojo to put on top of? Let me look this up again. A two thousand what year? Two thousand eighteen. <laughs> two thousand eighteen Honda Fit. Then he's probably gonna go. What the fuck have Hatchback. you been doing? <laughs> Hatchback. Yeah, let me type like, that in. I like to. This is the thing with. I've had like two actual cars in, in my life. I like to drive them for as long as I can until they die. I don't need fancy cars. It's like, give me an economy car that I can pay off and I don't have a, a bill and I can just drive for 10 plus years. That's the dream. Yeah, I guess like sticking with the Japanese is the way to go. I had no idea Toyotas were just so bulletproof till recently. <laughs> I was a yeah. Ford man up until now. There's oh, a okay, I like right Honda. There. I like Nissan a lot. That too. Porsche is nice. Uh, click that, that is that's, a nice that's, Porsche. Uh, Hassan's Porsche. That's the same one he has. The take Hold on. I got to mute the mic. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm back. <laughs> Let me see the Porsche. 
Just let me look at it. Okay. Give, give oh, a, hold on. It, it takes me to... I'm like, it's 200 it effing K if Hassan owns it. <sighs> oh, my brain. Oh. oh, we can actually... Actually, that's a good time if you want to do a quick uh, the Hassan where they talk about his uh, Porsche. Just let me see the Porsche first. Okay, I'm moving too deep now. Let me just... You don't look better in that first shot. Oh, 169. Sale. It's on sale. They go good. I'm glad Hassan lost it's money. It's cheap that guy. right now. <laughs> yeah, it's only the down payment of a house. What do you say? <laughs> Look at that. 30, uh, 2300 a month for a lease for 39 month lease. Sign I could technically <laughs> afford that. <laughs> I just can't have that. anything else. Right. No gas. <laughs> it's electric. It's electric. So you don't yeah, need it's going to sit whoa, in whoa, your whoa, garage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, electric. Get that shit out of here. Yeah, Ooh. this is totally electric. 100%. That's gay. That's no really wonder. gay. I like I would the truck venture to say bundle you. of sticks -y, but, you know. Show, uh, show the chat the truck. The Fox. Okay, uh, hold on. I gotta get, get ready, it, people. Uh, Th this is what Pask is up to. This I'm is what like, I like still messing I like, with videos. I like trucks. I collect I know you trucks. like trucks, but every truck you show me is a house. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't shown me a, a truck that's affordable yet. This motherfucker shows you a truck you could barely get the down payment on the wheels for. This is Ooh. okay, Chad. This is a two hundred thousand dollars Chevy, fifteen hundred uh, with the Fox uh, Baja package on it. It's but beautiful. They, I admit they're only making five hundred of them. So, oh my god, don't you have like a, a hyper rare truck nobody can get? Yeah, I do. I'll show a picture over here in a second. No, don't show the chat. Okay. Just people <laughs> hunt you down, you freak. Let me show I'll you show my you hyper the, rare somebody, truck. Somebody dang my fucking truck the other day. I'll show you all that. <laughs> we gotta get this done. We gotta get to the dealership. This video is so gay. Just fast forward wow. to this one. I don't need all the bullshit. And that's why I'm driving. <laughs> yeah, get out of here, Fru. This is badass. On like 800 miles an hour, look at that. That Those is cool. Truck. A Chevy, though? Mm. Yeah, I like my Raptor better. What do you think, Chad? $200,000? <laughs> yeah, Chad's gonna buy. Get out of here. I'm depressed. <laughs> Just get it out. One truck I like is like that Hummer. I think it's a Hummer truck. The new one, the electric Hummer truck. The only the Hummer the electric the one. one. But I've seen a Hummer truck and I was like, okay, that's cool. If I ever wanted a more expensive car than a Honda Fit, I would go with a Hummer or a Jeep or something like that. Honestly, God, I've never even heard of a Honda Fit till today. Yeah, it's it, it's neat. It's definitely a woman's car. I, I give it you is. that. It is. It is. It's cute. I like it. Like this is the type of car you could probably do crimes in, and nobody would like ever spot you. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Just in case you ever wanted to turn to a life of crime, you know, Mac, this is the perfect car. They go, All what right. type of car was it? It was ugly and small. <laughs> <laughs> nobody will know. I can get away with it. All right. Put a Tesla sticker on it. I already I'm using slurs on social media right now. That being a criminal is the obvious next step in my character arc. So this is true. Like Alyssa Mercanti would jizz her pants if you did this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Let's see, Hassan. I give up. Uh, okay. I, I hope his electric car my, dies. This, oh man, that didn't come up. The what? The, what type of photo is the, this? That was the scratch. That I had. I, dude, uh, I was pull show. it back up. <laughs> a scratch. All I see is like overexposure. That's what it looked like, too. It's uh, what your car looks like on the sun. No, it doesn't. 
but I'm just having a problem right now with the with the pictures. They're not coming up correctly. Uh oh. Yeah, they're um, overexposed for some reason. Anyways, well, let's go to Hassan. <laughs> let's go to Hassan. He was uh, talking with these guys. Uh, what was the name of their uh, podcast? Yeah, confronting Son on being a socialist. Shannon Melanie Mack, socialist. will you um, read the Bible to Dustin? Yeah, I have a Bible channel for that on YouTube. Oh wow! Did yes. not know that. Bible time with Melanie Mack. I am all the way. I'm I'm in the middle of Psalms right now, so I've I've went pretty far already. So there's plenty. Plenty. Of, I've got playlists for all the books that I've read through so far. Don't you find it funny that America is about trucks and they make the worst type of truck, Toyota, all the way? Baby. <laughs> I agree with you, Maple. I agree with you. I'm now a believer. I Toyota honestly make God, a truck. Like uh, when the truck showed up, I was sitting there like, uh, uh, Toyota, I wanted a Raptor, but I can't afford a Raptor. But the Toyotas won me over. Being able to drive over shit is just so revolutionary. I spent my whole life driving sports cars. So, like, mm -hmm. if there was a puddle that was too high, I <laughs> wouldn't drive over it. If there were potholes, I wouldn't go to the area. Now, the truck, I could just drive over the sidewalk and not give a flipping shit because I missed a turn. And it's nothing nice. stopped it's me. It? It's so nice. Then I, I fall the out of the truck because it's so high up. I lifted it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, here is Hassan on, I forget the name of this goddamn show, but the Ice Coffee Hour, another. That sounds I've already really got gay. a headache, bro. No. How much of a headache am I going to get after this? Because I've already got a bad one. Oh, you, <laughs> you might need chemo after this. <laughs> uh, I don't have investments. Why? So, I know, everybody always. Uh, yeah, because that seems because, silly to me to not want to invest in a country that's given you so much opportunity as well. I don't see, that because I don't see it as a, as a, as a <laughs> net positive. I think that overall, that is the fundamental difference between someone who is a capitalist or someone who makes money uh, via capital accumulation versus someone who makes but, money via their labor. I make all of the money um, that I make um, off of as ethical means as I possibly can conduct. What I mean by that is like, ethical I, means. This son of a bitch, this talentless, absolute fucking degenerate, low life piece of shit calls what he ethical means. Wa sitting and watching shit and then giving a take. <laughs> this is this asshole acts like he's painting the 16th chapel with his fucking opinions. Ugh. Ugh. Depart him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to mute the mic. I have merchandise. This is you my didn't hear merch. that, right? It's made in the United States. And it's made with unionized uh, garment manufacturers. Okay, now this, who makes your of course, iPhone? Destroys yeah, you the profit egg. margins that I would normally have, but it doesn't matter because, like, who that is the shoes, most sustainable, most ethical way that I can. And that nice Rolex he's got underneath his. He's I, got two dude, watches. It he looks is like. such a fucking Rolex shell. This <laughs> asshole wears Rolex merchandise unironically. I want to buy a Ducati, and I'm not even going to be a big enough asshole to run around with a Ducati T-shirt on. <laughs> Like, oh, you fucking brand whore. The only other guys are like that are the Porsche guys or the Ferrari guys that wear the, the jacket. The biggest douchebags. Yeah. I have to cut the Porsche guys some slack. My uncle does this. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Uncle Gundam. <laughs> Can you drive that Porsche, brother? Make uh, make this product. I do it not because like, oh, I'm going to make some extra money on the side. It's marginal in comparison to mm. what I could be making. These are $35 uh -huh. t-shirts made but, in the United States of America. But you're not investing you. just doesn't make sense to me. Well, because I just see your house, for example. Mm -hmm. Three million bucks. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure I'm rounding up. Talk maybe it's worth house. that, you know, three million. I got it for 275. I don't know what okay. it is now. So let's just say it's worth sure. $3 million today. How would it be any different for you to buy a $1 million house and invest $2 million in the stock market? Or instead of buying the Porsche? to buy a Volkswagen Jetta for 20 grand and the other Pause, 100, please. let's because just say. Why are they giving this asshole ideas? He'll Why never are you take doing it. this? Do He'll you think do it. that Hassan Piker is going to yes. get trade in the yes. Porsche for a, a Volkswagen? No, not that. He's going to take the money he does have and invest it, though. This is Hassan Piker. Oh, He'll sit lying. there and tell. Yeah, he's, he's lying to his fucking teeth. Oh, whatever. Yeah. He's like, oh, I don't have investments, but he's not counting the real estate. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
Ugh, I wish I had so much money. I just to be like, I don't have any investments. I have to take what I have and invest it just to make a few fucking grand a year. And then the government comes in and taxes what <sighs> little shit I got. You absolute animals. Uh, we need a new Boston okay. Tea Party. I would, rather, <laughs> I would rather buy something nice uh, than buy something cheaper and then take the rest of the money and and invest it in the stock market. But think beyond that, there's already, there is a lot of money that I could be investing right now. And what is it doing? It nothing. Either nothing <laughs> or I just spend it. Or like spend like it on in, in donations. A, but in I the capital like, appreciation, I think putting it in a Porsche is worse for the economy than you investing $100,000 into stocks. So At I'm least doing more if it goes world into the <laughs> 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 Do my crypto investments help the world? <laughs> they help you. Even though the crypto is taking a nosedive today, let me check my it losses. It is. I know oh, after the after Iran shot those drones out, it the 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 market was going up. And then oh, why the didn't you tell happened. me? Hold on. Hold on, Melody. Hold on. They just it right now ears. is the time to buy. Uh, not financial <laughs> advice, but right now would be a good time to buy. Melody, don't listen to this. Hold on. Pesk, why didn't you tell me they locked some goddamn missiles? You know I was asleep. <laughs> I would have put my money. What was, that, what was I supposed to do? I don't know. Like, if you texted me, I would have, like, looked at it when I woke up and said, holy shit, then I would have called fucking Mike, and I would have like, Mike, get my money the fuck out. All no, right. It, All right. It, it, they it, shot down 99% of them, though. <laughs> I've lost so much money today. <laughs> I'm the type of crypto person, I like to keep it. I, I like to keep it in there. I'm not one of those oh buy here and then sell it now and then do all that because you got to pay capital gains tax on it. So I put in I'm an amount. I'm paying capital gains and I haven't sold any. Oh wait, <laughs> <laughs> I have an amount in it that I put in. I like two years ago or something. I bought XRP and Chainlink when they were really cheap. And um, don't so take even, any of. Hold on, we have to give a display. Yeah, don't mouth. take any advice from me. This isn't financial advice. Go. I'm just explaining my stupidity. Okay, so. I bought XRP and Chainlink uh, two or three years ago when it was a lot cheaper. So even now that the market has gone down, it's still I still have more money than I started with um, because it was dirt cheap back then. So I'm keeping it there. I I, I don't want to keep selling, it's buying, nice. and then worry about all that. I am just keeping it there and, and waiting for it to climb or not. If I lose it, I lose it. I put in enough that I would be fine if I lose it. So it's, it's not... Crypto's a sore amount. subject with Gundam because uh, really? he's had opportunities to buy at like extremely low prices back when I bought it when it was like fifty five hundred dollars right when the pandemic hit. Mm. Oh, for Bitcoin? Yeah. Oh. New York State was the only state that blocked me from being able right. to buy the coin because they fucking had you fucking political pigs. Oh, Good for my house. I could have had a house. Oh, hello, Fluffy. How are you, darling? I'm sorry, Daddy was you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I woke up my poor dog. Aw, poor Fluffy. That's why we have this stream, though, so we can have the uh, the Escape from New York fun. We gotta try to you get Gundam that. out of New York. My goodness, New York is this trash right now. Is, it's horrible. It's worse than you can imagine. Especially if you're in the city, because I was in upstate New York for a, a while, no, I'm in and upstate I too. It. I don't. Oh. I don't mess with the city anymore. Well, upstate's not too bad. It's actually really beautiful, the scenery and all that. But oh, yes. We have lovely scenery. We have wild animals. We have an eagle epidemic now. <laughs> um, the eagles are stealing little dogs. Oh, no. So if you are, you have a little dog, you know, you don't leave it outside by itself. What do you ever talk? You see the people say, oh, it's a bald eagle. He's looking for lunch, stupid. I had to tell a white lady to go get her pug. I'm like, lady, the eagle <laughs> is here for our dogs. <laughs> God help me! I'm so tired, Melody. You don't know. <laughs> I noticed. It's fine. Uh, we just got a large donation from Disco Cobra 2013 Yay! for 50. Whoa, hallelujah! It's Melanie Mack and Gundam. Where do y'all chewing the fat over? Hassan, all oh man, not this douche. Dang, it's storming pretty bad here in the PA. Hope all is well with y'all. Love the hair, Mel. Probably one of your best looks so far. Thank you. And go Dark Steelers. Dark hair goes well on pale skin. Yeah, I I found my color palette online through like TikTok's girl stuff, and it's like, oh, I'm a winter palette. No wonder I've always liked my hair black. Well, I mean, because it's normally like dark brown. So I'm like, oh, all right, now I now I can uh, adapt all my wardrobe and hair and girl stuff. Yay! It's day, man. <laughs> 
Uh, we got robbed at Fun Point for twenty dollars. I think Mac would get busted doing crimes in the Honda Fit. <laughs> the license plate that says "Bundle of Sticks" might be the dead Ooh. giveaway. I hope That's she doesn't have a vanity plate like that because I, I don't. Know it was Melody. I don't. It would be pretty great if I did, but I do not. People would recognize me. It would not be good. Do you get <laughs> recognized <laughs> now? I do sometimes, not as much where I live now because I'm kind. I'm like out in the boonies like mayberry good um, choice i do not like being in populated areas but um when i lived in the city before i would get uh, recognized oh uh, christ in heaven oh no uh, a black screen. keep going keep telling the story don't worry we okay. just uh, functional technical difficulties here all right oh, so sure with the 20 dollars super chat says toyotas are indestructible i got my forerunner because Bad guys in Iraq had so many Toyotas that the government operate or government opened an investigation and had hearings to determine if they were selling to them directly. I think I remember that story because oh. they, there was a bunch of cars that were sold at auction that had like uh, old stickers from like Joe's Plumbing or whatever. Ended mm -hmm. up being one of the ISIS vehicles that had like a 50 cal bolted onto the back of it during the Iraq, Iraq invasion. That says a lot about Toyota. <laughs> they're good. They're good trucks. They technically made in America. Mars yeah. Gundam with the twenty five ninety nine says, "Hey Gundam, you won't believe what YouTube is letting the thoughts get away with now." Well, Trans tell us. Transparent try on hauls. You see everything. <gasps> Are they oh, just trying on sheer God. clothes? Oh my fuck. They keep they keep pushing it, and then Twitch has to keep changing their terms of service over and over again instead of just banning them every time they do crap like this. But the thoughts are making Twitch their money right now. So pretty much, oh Christ in heaven! Yeah, <laughs> thoughts are subsidizing Twitch one hundred percent. Yeah, because Twitch is just they are, Twitch is so stupid woke that you just can't get away with. I'm surprised ah. I'm still not banned on there. I mean, they have temporarily. Uh, banned me before for two weeks, but which yeah. was incredibly funny. Your comeback, by the way, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, it it was fun. <laughs> I'd say that sure. was my top five Melody Mac moments. It was great. Yeah, I made a little video, used some bundle of sticks word. Um, it was it was a good time. <laughs> you know, uh, you were on Local Live. I just saw this yeah. couple a while ago, and they brought you on to confront Richard for Green Tech USA. Yeah, I can't even remember what the hell he said. Something he about called, like he, he pretty much said what she said earlier. He was like, "Do you deny saying this?" And she was like, "No, I'm a I'm a bigot." Yo, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, well, how can you say, or how, oh, how can you say you don't approve, or how can you say you approve of the LGBT when you say this, that, and the other? And I was like, I don't approve of the LGBT. <laughs> there we go. Call me a bigot. Good, great. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, you stuck him with that. Yeah, yeah he, like he Rich's brain definitely fried because he wasn't expecting you to own it, which is like one of my favorite things. Um, usually mm -hmm. when people call me out on stuff, I say, you're fucking right. I did it. Yeah, that's the best way to handle it because that's their tactics is they just want to cry bully you. They want to make, oh, you're a bad person. Oh, you're a bigot. You're this, you're that. Well, it's not going to if you just say, OK, yeah, that's me. Yep. They can't come back with anything because they don't have any logic or reason or anything like that. It's all ma emotional manipulation. Recently, Rich uh, went off of Twitter. He made this. Oh, yeah. He nuked himself That's right, right before. I, yeah. I'm I was going to contact Rich because uh, do you want to pull up his um, big video that was supposed to save his channel? Uh, uh -oh. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it was. Um, honestly, I, like Rich has been cool to me. He's a funny guy. I have no issue with him. He has none with me. But like I looked at it, I, I just saw everything that was wrong that could have been improved and fixed. And yeah. I was about to contact him on Twitter and just go, okay, Rich, this is what you fucking need. Here's a list of cameras, um, <laughs> filming equipment. Here's some lighting. And here's how you're going to shoot some stuff for product placement. Because, you know, a lot of the sponsors I've worked with required me to film my own stuff. Mm -hmm. And luckily, I have some semblance of understanding how to film product placements. <laughs> And uh, I was just going to share that information with him because it's just so it was a rough video. But then he just right. nuked himself. And now he's wow. having some sort of meltdown. Didn't his like uh, his discord got taken down too? <gasps> yeah, what? He, he deleted his discord. That was one of the last messages was that one right there. Uh, he said there was people 
posting uh, CB in there. <gasps> Dude, and, uh, every Discord community turns into that, bro. Wow. Well, I hope he's okay, though, for real. Like, I don't want... I, I know he tries to beef with me or whatever. I also think a lot of it is theatrical, uh, especially when I talk to him on Law Cow and all that oh, yeah. kind of stuff. I, I, I don't think it's... I, I don't think he is genuinely a malicious person or anything like that. I think a lot of it is just, it, it's the game. Um, yes, and, you have to entertain in this business. Yeah, and so it's like, I I don't want to see him delete his platforms and all that. I, ho I hope he can just make cool content again because um, he used to do more, you know, well, tech-related stuff. This is what he's making now ever since he fired uh, his old editor, Jay. He wanted to prove that he can edit a video you know better than jay and this okay for real pass between you and me do you think jay could have improved this uh 100 he would have definitely really? uh, well, he would have improved it just technically because there's a lot of technical flaws with the soundboard the audio is bad. Uh, yeah, it, okay the, the spamming of the soundboard yeah i can Mixing see cutting is that horrible you know there was the fate the, the it's just bad it, it's it needed a once over by a professional editor but here let's let the chat decide we're now going to force the chat to, to go through this. Right. That's like not the move to make, but go with it. <laughs> Enjoy the You're not allowed to leave the screen. Try to relax your anus. It's time to talk about my man history. Man Although history. Man history. Apart, does your dog fall asleep at the very start? Then turn off the TV. And here's what you With an Atari game, a flick of the switch turns your TV set into a playground and your family room into a family This is the actual room. first minute, Chad. Have you played Atari today? This is not good Woo! Hi, everybody. Hi. My name is Richard of Tech USA. I'm 42 years old. I still play video games, and I'm old as sh- I'm sorry. A lot of this. A lot of this shit. I don't like this. Yeah, this I don't get. It's too much. We already don't have now, any. This is going to be an interesting video because it's not just going to be about my history with video games. I've talked about that before and, and filed it under who gives a crap kind of. But my age bracket is an interesting one because I wasn't there for the very inception of video games like Magnavox Odyssey days. Magnavox presents Odyssey, a lot of the that. electronic game it's of a lot the future. Of Odyssey easily attaches to any brand TV, black and white or color, to create a closed-circuit electronic See, I, playground. I Odyssey this. gives you all the exciting action of hockey and I 11 didn't even other know challenging existed. play and learning games Atari for the entire just family. They're so long, the little clips he's adding in there too, way too long. Odyssey, no. a new dimension for your television, now at your Magnavox dealer. He's listed in the yellow pages. But I was young enough at the time where i was born at a maybe time this is supposed to be tim and eric games were just it was he a fledgling the market eric energy, but so i doesn't work for grew everything. up with games and saw the ups and downs and saw the industry evolve and change and that's why i thought this video would there's a smurfs game a back in the day make because Gargamel's my story kind of ties in with the industry but this video is, if uh, that makes sense bro i've never even heard of Coleco so Coleco. my first lucid memory uh with gaming wow. was going with about my dad a month, to and I whatever think right toy shop we went to work out this is richard review tech you and another thing views. I did, seeing yeah, the all digital future that we're going More into, views than I, I bought think. Martin Scorsese's but The Departed is, uh, and downloaded this it. This is to feeling more like 2014 or 2015 YouTube to me. Yeah. 2011. And, yeah, or even that far back. Because I think back then people were more interested in, oh, I want to get to know about this creator and what they like and this, that, and the other. And I think now people We're in the care. age of Mr. Beast. Yeah, people care. Uh, people care a bit more about what we're talking about, actual subjects. At least I notice with my own content, um, actually focusing on topics, what's going on in the world, what's going on in the gaming industry, this, that, and the other, instead of just, oh, this is about me, and I like this, and I like that, and and all of that, um, and especially all of the excessive cutting with all the other stuff inserted in. That's that's more older YouTube. Yeah, Lil yeah. Wicks in the chat. He's a dickers. The the story that Rich told, uh, Kino Casino clipped it about uh one what of is his dickers. One of his coworkers named him Dick, 
and then start calling him Dickers. Hold on, let me sing. I found that video. It is a cute little clip. Hold on. Yeah, I would have. I probably would have helped Rich because uh, he needs it right there. I'm not yeah. editing shit though. <laughs> Just advice. Yeah, I'm like outsourcing my editing now. Okay. Unless that's it's cool. like major projects. Like uh, Ludwig takes over my small stuff now so I can save some brain cells to paint Goku. You know what? I will send go. Melody Mac a picture of my Goku. Do that. Do you actually <laughs> paint? Of course I do. I love that. That's awesome. YouTube is the least talented thing I do, and it's the most successful, which is why God punishes me. <laughs> I I understand that because I also I like playing music. Um I'm not that good at it though, but I like playing music, guitar, singing. Me too. I like to yeah. draw all that. And before I used to, it was like my dream to be a comic book artist back in like. Oh, two, me too. Yeah. In 2008. Do you, do you remember Zuda comics, the website? No, there was a website called Zuda comics is run by DC, I believe. And they had a monthly contest of like picking a winner every month who would have a web comic there. And they paid $250 a week to update a page a week. And I was working at Best Buy at the time. After work, I would go home. I would get my little Wacom bamboo tablet and draw so I could enter the contest. I needed eight pages. And I came up with that. And I didn't I didn't even make it into the actual contest voting portion because it was really bad. But <laughs> I learned a lot. I improved a lot. One of these days, I'll make a comic. And people... You I, need I, to I, make a comic of that like uh, character you said you'd make in Sonic Chu fashion. Exactly. <laughs> I've had people, uh, my friends give me advice and say, oh, just hire an artist to do it and stuff. But I wouldn't be living out my dream if I did that. I have to make it myself. Even if the art isn't as good as if I outsourced it, I have to make a comic myself. One of these days, I'll do what it. What is the comic going to be about? I have one that I, I have a, a few different stories I've thought about. Um, one of them was a kind of Tomb Raider-esque inspired thing. But the one I really want to work on is... Oh, um, Christ. Keep going. Oh, no! <laughs> Keep the, telling us. The one I really want to work on is like this. Um, uh, it, it's like this demon hunting academy of sorts, and um, so you have Nephilim angels, um, and then even a, a dude who dies, um, and they have to fight demons, like in the spiritual realm of of the world of IRL and stuff. So. I think that's the one I really would would want to work on. Um, that's the one I, I mean, I did. I wrote I wrote a lot. I wrote a big outline for it and all that stuff already. Um, but right now it's just finding like the a, time and, and you, uh, the confidence in, in my abilities to, to make it. I, I you got to do it, but you don't like tell people you did it. You ghost write your own stuff. But, me what it goes right when it takes off well then you say by the way i did this <laughs> yeah and then you like lose everything because hey, then you I'm lose not... your trans audience that's the thing oh I, I would definitely lose them with this story <laughs> you would make sure nobody would sit there and go this character is coded trans huh <laughs> i i I, I already wrote a, a lot of the script and I have one portion where it's going to have my favorite slur in it. Um, so let, let's just say I won't be able to put this on Kickstarter. Um, I'm not going to. You're, you're not working at DC. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Would you go uh, with Eric July's uh, imprint? I heard he's trying to get YouTubers and stuff to do uh, projects. It'd like be possible. I possibly, uh, I would talk to him about it. I'm just not sure if, um, I'm not sure if that would, if that exactly works because I think he's kind of, I don't know. I didn't get the whole gist of it, but from the video I saw, it looked like um, people who didn't have the resources to make it happen and needed help and stuff. Um, but I have an audience. I could already, I, I already have everything I need to make something like this happen. So I don't know. I would definitely talk with him and see if that could be a fit. Um, but he's not so much a, uh, it's not so much a publisher. It's more of a, let's help you get your feet off the ground with this. To my right. knowledge, at least. I so, yeah. Uh, I found the clip, actually. This is uh, Let's the go, play clip. It. <laughs> it's an interesting character. So there was a stock room at this arts and crafts store. And oh, no. it was Tim's job. No. Don't tell me the brother <laughs> him. To introduce me it's to... It's so bad. <laughs> Wait, what? What? All the different aspects of the store and 
talk to the different <laughs> Well, Rich employees. was thinner back in the and day? And he introduced yeah, me to like his brother that ago. worked in Whoa. the stock room. He was a stock guy there. A uh, warehouse guy, I should say. And he was like, yeah, Tim was like, hey, John, this is my... <laughs> no, Rich, don't tell the story. Don't tell no, the... tell the story. My friend... He's already told. No, no. There's nothing we can do to stop it. <laughs> He's gonna. He's. It's already happened. It's like the end of Watchmen. This already happened four years ago. <laughs> Why would I tell you? This? Friend Rich, he just got hired. Now most people would just be like, "Hey, Rich, my name's John. How are you?" Not John, though. What John did is he approached me and introduced himself like this. What's your name again? What's your name? And I was like. My name's Rich. He's like, no. No. I'm not going to call you Rich. I'm going to call you Dick. <laughs> it's like, it's how my grandfather fucking met me, bro. It's <laughs> been all over my monitor. It's been all over my monitor. I'm not going to call you Rich. I'm gonna call you Dick. It gets better. It gets better and better and better and better. It's funny. That's so funny. You know, I just keep playing. <laughs> Rich looks so traumatized. Yeah. Count. I'm gonna call you Dick. I just looked at him and I was like, okay. I don't give a crap. You want to call me Dick? That's fine. Call me Dick. He continues on and goes, even better. Even better. I'm gonna call you Dickers. You! <laughs> Why would they stop it right when he's gonna sell it? Called Dickers. Fast forward it. You never step on a line. Dickers. First rule of show the business. Asian ritual begins. Uh, this is PPP. Or Dickers. And I'm looking at the guy, and I'm like, he's no. at, okay. No. No. Of, How is that okay? So like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? <laughs> Well, that's that's the the legend of Dickers. Well, the Dickers legend wasn't as um, funny and robust as I thought it was going to be. They seem to think it was hilarious, but <laughs> yeah, Warski and PPP, they've really been going hard at Rich, but they uh, they think a lot of this bullshit is super hilarious. Camelot said Rich went after him, but I lost the message in the sea of messages. Oh Rich yeah, went after Casino. Rich is mad at Camelot for being friends with me too. Oh really? Oh That's it? whatever. Oh my god. I know Rich. it's retarded. Come on, Rich. Well, and he also was mad at Craig uh, from Side Scrollers as well for having me on the podcast and all that kind of stuff. Oh, so basically, I'm on the outs now. Yeah. Oh yeah, he might. You might get a mean email from him. That <laughs> could be funny. Send it to Pesk <laughs> <laughs> at Josh Pescator. Just send it on. By I'm the still... way, I'm very upset. Dark Side Phil has snubbed Pask and uh, that lady we're talking about. Yeah. The old one. I've had it... two ghosts. I am really, really pissed with that. That Phil didn't have the dignity to at least tell Pask what a piece of shit I was so that I could read the email on stream. That was like the big part of the show that we don't have now because DSP is selfish. He's a selfish content creator. <laughs> How about this? Banned, 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 banned. <laughs> Gone. Forever. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I, tried, I love Chad. that guy. I tried. We tried to get him on for the May 1st. For That would have been the that would have been the most epic. Is anyone going to be on burst. May 1st, by the way? Uh, we've got Keemstar on ah. May 1st. All right, I guess Keem gets to uh, be subjected to DSP shit. Yeah, he knows. That's one of the reasons why I think he chose that date, too, because he had all of May to choose from. And he's like, no, I want to do it the date, this anniversary on this jerk off day. Yeah, because I was sitting there, like, I realized what May 1st was because originally you pitched it to me. You're like, let's do a whole DSP thing. And I was not in the mood that day. I was probably editing. I was just completely out yeah, of my mind. Like, I only got one response, Chad. It was just like, pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, hey, guys, like, from that being said, we can get, like, you know, no, man, can't I get no. everybody. No. I don't want to do this. And no. then later on, after like I finally got away from editing, so like a, a few days ago, two days of not editing can really change how you feel about life. And I'm just <laughs> like, you know, May 1st, I guess it could be funny to like do some film related shit. Maybe Pesk isn't insane. I have a good idea every once in a while. Every now and then, I'll give you that. You're on it. 
I give you that. I will not lie to you. Sometimes you're on it. And sometimes you miss the bark so bad I'm confused. The quartering like, is on passed. Fresh and Fit's live stream. What? Really? Really? Oh, my God. After the, Just pull it up. Pull it up. Hold on. Let me see. I don't even know if this is true. After he was going at these guys. Honey, it's true. I don't give a fuck about Fresh and Fit. Oh, no. Yeah. I don't care if yeah. they bone it's some true. like hooker. Merry yeah. Christmas. Yeah, just like if you're gonna bone a chick you don't care about, for the love of God, don't nut in her. What are you doing? This is rookie shit. This is what you a, do when you're a 14. Chinese escort too. He was trying to play. She it was off a like, real escort. She was a 100 percent real escort. He kept saying like, "Oh, she has to spend so much money to get a visa to go from China to here." I'm like, "Yeah, guess who's paying for it?" <laughs> How the fuck can you give man advice if you're doing this shit? Yeah. Exactly. Here we go. And, uh... I did not get beat up. By he, him, but is. he did attack me. And um, like, why did he just like come up behind you, like and just like get, literally? Oh, Weren't they really that, that was at a convention. Yeah, yeah. Con, which it was, was literally beefing a day ago. Convention in, in the world. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Is it bigger than E3? Uh, bigger than E3? Yeah, they oh, were beefing hard. Yeah, 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 a couple yeah, days. Yeah, there's yeah, like so eighty thousand people that show up to this thing. Yeah, we need to go there, man. Yeah, yeah, we do. We do. Now that I'm getting into gaming, which we're gonna talk about gaming here in a second. Yeah, yeah. Now that they're getting into gaming. We're getting into games. Watch, watch, watch. If you like to play games, then you can play them there. But anyway, there was a, uh, you know how it is when, like, that's why when I see you guys doing a live event, I'm like, man, these guys are crazy. So <laughs> I, I was there. It was like my people, you know. So I was like, people like, what's up, Jeremy? Blah blah. All day long, right? And it's like two in the morning. I got my back turned. I'm sitting at a bar, outside like a patio bar, just having my fiftieth drink or whatever. And some guy's like, are you Jeremy for the quarter? And I turn around, I'm like, yeah. And then he's like, ah! And he just like starts punching me. Rookie move. And um, fucking yeah. crazy. turns out he was like some Antifa guy, and he didn't like that. Uh, I got 40,000 from, 40, from that, rights Or something like that. And, um, and 40,000 ain't yeah, shit you know, no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> you got banned because the terrorists hit you. Because Antifa are terrorists, by the way, FYI. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, this is uh, fine. Correctly, yeah. By the I, I can feel my testosterone levels rising. A domestic yeah. terrorist group. Yeah. Get this out of yeah. here. I give up. I'm tearing it off right now. <laughs> How the fuck do you go from beef and it is shit? I don't know. That's interesting. But isn't that typical male behavior? <laughs> Not with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they'll be physically fighting each other and then they're bros like the no, next that's day. that's different when it's a fight. Oh, God. Gotcha. Then it's like a, if you like come to some sort of like mutual respect, gotcha. then you could be cool with each other possibly, but it's an uneasy coolness in most cases in the hood. But this shit, okay. man, like Aspen Gold slighted me years ago and I haven't forgotten that shit. <laughs> I'm not trying to be buddy buddy with that motherfucker every time he shows up pretending he doesn't know who I am. I'm quick to make fun Ooh. of him. I am fat. Uh oh. But but belly back up. Nobody probably knows. If I start beef with somebody, I hold on to that till it squats. Except oh. when it came to uh, not the quarter. When it came to Pokemon. I'm the opposite of that. I can like have beef with somebody, and all they got to do is say sorry for the 380th time. I forgive you. <laughs> I can't. It's it's not worked in my favor though. Dude, so. it's just weird. Like they were really going at it. What the Ooh. hell is this? I know they really were. So I'm curious. I'm curious what the rest of that looks like and if that was even addressed at all. And they're just like, hey, let's talk it out. I don't know. It was probably the beginning of the live stream. I have to go back and watch a little bit of it. I'm not watching it. But yeah, not right now. <laughs> uh, Y'all are bringing up Asmongold. This was a... Uh, let me get rid you of that right motherfucker. <laughs> he made a video or he made two videos reacting to meet my Twitch ban. And was he really? When he made two videos, you meet his editor. Made well, yeah, his, well, he was talking on stream and then it was on his clips channel or whatever. I um, wish to God I could sleepwalk through content and get a million views. Mother of God. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. Uh, Look at this hard work. Charlie's original thumbnail. Never oh. seen me this mad. What great work. Look at that. Look at Kill that. me. <laughs> Crap. I <see. laughs> Crap. Every time I show Gundam these kind of numbers that he gets from these like reacts, he just wants to jump out of a window. It's so hard not to say the things I want to say. He was saying, he was like, you know, really disagreeing with me heavily and kind of was being mean, but I, for some reason, it didn't really bother me. I was just like, I think the big reason why it didn't is because all of the comments were almost all of them were supporting me <laughs> so yeah because like, he okay. usually has shit takes most of the time the only yeah. time he's on point is when he echoes what everybody else thinks and you know what i'm gonna do something controversial here 
I'm going to say Mr. Beast it does deserve his fame because at least this absolute zoinker, I'm being as nice as I can, does something. Like Mr. Beast right. actually does something. He gets a drone. People go somewhere. He's he's like the first YouTuber that's gotten this big that gave enough of a fuck to I actually kinda... do something more than next to sleepwalk through seeing something. That's Akira true. Toriyama's dead today. What is this? Let me read the tweet. Fucking amazing. Thanks for honoring Akira Toriyama by acknowledging he died. Let it go. It's got to. Okay. I can't <laughs> help but wonder if Mr. Beast is a plant, though. You know? To... Oh, yeah, totally. I can see that. Because <laughs> it's just like, well, how does this guy get all of this, especially as young as he is, all of a sudden this dude enters the scene and is giving streamers all this money and all this. How is he rich? Where did he get all of his money? And he's doing well, all I this. I think. He it got his crypto. money from Bitcoin. Yeah. yeah like he started out the first round of money. So did he like, invest when he was 12? Because no, is he like, young? <laughs> no, he started like a few years ago, like four or five. His big thing was saying PewDiePie's name like a billion times in 24 hours. So it would literally be a 24 hour video of him sitting there going, PewDiePie, 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 PewDiePie. That's how he got started. He made money off of that shit, invested it into crypto. Then when he got the crypto, he used his crypto money to start giving it away to people. That's when the whole YouTube trend of people giving away money was fucking huge. Mm. And he rode that wave, made even more money. And then he just sort of expanded upon it. Yeah. I just wish to fuck. I had the means to buy something. But at that time on YouTube, I was literally eating packaged tuna people sent to me in the mail. Things were not going very good for days. <laughs> hey, that's keto. <laughs> I was bad tuna. I was getting oh, no. so fucked up and people thought it was funny. Like... Mm. I would sit there, make fun of Twitch thoughts, get demonetized, eat my packaged tuna from fans that enjoyed hearing me get sick. I had to go to the emergency room. I got so sick. Oh, no. I, was, I told this to Jobby the Hunk. I was eating packaged tuna, getting food poisoning, going to the emergency room, and sleeping on a broken bed. So mm. my bed was broken at a 90-degree angle. So I was sleeping, like, constantly going down towards the floor like a Superman pose. <laughs> and the second I stopped doing Twitch thought shit, these motherfuckers abandoned me. Oh no! That's I suffered for art. Well, those struggle stories are really good for the character development. I, I, I admire and it. Why? I, I'm like a manga character. Exactly. No, I, I look back at, at my struggle times and trying to make it out on my own. I, I, I think hindsight 2020, I was just visiting my parents last weekend and I was like, why did I ever move out and not just bum it up with you guys? <laughs> but I wanted to make it. I had all these like dreams and goals. And so then I was living in a garage at one point. And yeah, it, it was struggle city out there. Um, but I, I really do think it helps with the character development. So I look back and I'm, I'm glad that I went through it. I got to know this. Do your parents constantly mooch off of you? No. Ah, oh, God damn it. I'm the only one. <laughs> they don't. My parents are amazing. I love them so much. They, they're fantastic. Um, So, yeah. <laughs> no mooching my, off me. <laughs> you're so lucky. My family, they treat me like a goddamn bank. Oh, I, no. I've run out of money. I've overdrafted. Then I got to give <gasps> more money. Then I forget that I gave money two weeks ago. But then everybody realizes I have a memory problem because uh, I oh, crashed no. a lot of so motorcycles. Then you keep giving them money. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm like Joe Biden in the other <laughs> fucking Ukraine. But I have an excuse. I didn't get old. I just kept crashing my motorcycle and landing on my head. <laughs> right. Okay. On a racetrack, though, you know. Sometimes right. you get a little sexy. You go far out in turn three because the other guy's slow. And then you hit a dirty patch of the track and the bike goes flipping and so do you. And okay. I also have some sort of weird thing with my brain where the part that's associated with memory is shrinking. And the doctors are sitting there like, um, oh, the yeah, hippocampus. We <laughs> but okay. we're going to monitor you. And I'm like, so if this is like a new issue, they're like, yeah, we'll name it after you. And I'm like, that's cool. I call it fundamitis. I mean, all, that, all that, that packaged tuna is catching up to you. <laughs> yeah, I paid the price. <laughs> you know, I. <laughs> I was dumb for eating that stuff. But now I eat canned tuna from Natural Catch. You assholes should give me a sponsorship. It's great. High protein, 
low fat. Oh my God. It tastes good. Full fillets. It's not like the tuna in the package. It's like bushy. It, like the tuna is <laughs> like oatmeal in the packs. These people were sending me expired food at one point. I swear to God. <laughs> if you want to get fancy, you'll get that albacore tuna. Oh yes. That's my favorite. How did you mm -hmm. know? So good. I just I just had the impression. <laughs> I seem like an albacore kind of guy. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, long story short, my family keeps taking my goddamn money. <laughs> oh, no, that sucks. Because, like, I've been in situations where I told my family, like, hey, if you ever need help, you know, I, I don't mind helping if you, this, that, or the other. They're like, no, we're, we're handling it. We're good. We can do it. Um, My dad yeah, it's is a just... phrase I never hear. My dad is super responsible, though. He has always had everything in order all the bills are always paid yes, he has it's great credit has to be. Oh, he's me just too. very responsible so that's he can tell he's a man because a man has to have everything in order in order <laughs> to have a family and if yep. you're a man that grows up in a house of mostly women you learn to be in order because chaos does not lead to anything but poverty <laughs> yep that's true did someone say get married already that's it you're banned <laughs> I have to leave Melody single for Reddit. They love her oh, so yeah. much. Oh yeah, Reddit will Reddit will try to kill you otherwise. So or nah, on a live view, sorry. Time. I didn't. I said the word. <laughs> yeah, we're screwed already. That's why I got a bulletproof vest. <laughs> we're far enough. Uh, TJ Trapman just donated fifty dollars. Thanks, Gundam, for making the videos. It really got me through the pandemic, brother. Take some of this WWE champions money and get out of New York, big bro. I'm gonna take that money. I'm gonna get a five star Stone Cold Steve Austin. Because that's the bottom line. Because Stone Cold said so. Oh, yeah. But I will say, um, thank you for the money, dude. Uh, the pandemic was an interesting time for me. It's time for some stories of Daddy Gundam. Uh, my girlfriend Ooh. had left me for a dude that was literally taller than me. <laughs> oh, no. He was five. He was six, five. So oh, my goodness. He was, yeah, he was real tall. And that was his only redeeming quality. <laughs> Isn't it always? <laughs> It is. I remember it's she like, called me on the. These guys are like, I'm tall. I don't need a personality. <laughs> His personality was getting drunk and doing drugs and then biting her. She had, she got what she had coming. She told me like Gundam, oh, don't you think that stability is boring? And I'm like, what do you mean? And then 2020 yeah. rolled around. It was horrible. YouTube muted me, but I fought with Pokemon. That was fun. That's the most fun I had okay. on YouTube. The yeah, most the Pokemon fun. story is is deep lore and it's great. Okay. I still, I still text it, not text. I still uh, DM her. She never <laughs> replies, but you know, I'm trying to get her to block me. So and I'm she's like, still not blocking you. Okay. I know. So she's got to like it. She does. I bet. I told her, listen, I'm like a fungus. I'm just going to grow on you. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to do it. She just won't admit it. I'd probably be the That's... most macho guy in her DMs on, honestly. <laughs> probably. I've been yeah. shot. I've been stabbed. You've I've been, been shot out of, at what? Well, shot at. Sorry. Oh, three shot times at. in upstate yeah. New York, or oh, I was I'm in L.A. the first time. L.A. The third, okay. No, no, the other two times L.A. Two times in L.A. One time in upstate New York. Now, upstate New York was a mistake. I can explain. Oh, oh okay. I was driving through the hood. First mistake. <laughs> two. It was the Popeye's chicken special. <laughs> I love Popeye's. The this red beans and real. rice is good. <laughs> yeah. It just turned to a shootout and I stayed because I had to get that chicken. I had the coupons. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was doing YouTube. I couldn't afford to miss a meal. <laughs> so there was a shootout, but they weren't actually trying to shoot you. Yeah. It was like, uh, I was just going through the wrong time, you know, wrong place, wrong time. That's usually how dying happens. True. What about the stabbing? Oh, that was um, that was a knife fight. <laughs> so you were fighting with that? Yeah, I, I'm not saying I was good at it. That's why I got stabbed. <laughs> you gotta learn somehow. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just childhood. You, you hide jinx. Wow, that's that's crazy. I have not been stabbed or shot at or anything like that. Well, you seem like such a genuinely, you know. An overall nice person, even though you say things that upset people. I mean, that's everybody. Everybody says everyone has said something horrible at some point. Yeah. You just, just do figured out day. how to. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely put, made it part of the brand. I do it for the fun, for the troll of it. That's the thing is all these woke people want to paint me out to be this hater, all this stuff. But it's like, 
any time that somebody if there is even in a position of criticism and stuff, I go easy on them. I don't do the personal attacks and stuff, really. I just like to say slurs to make people laugh and also to trigger randos. But do I direct this energy at people specifically and try to hurt them? No. Yeah, we're just uh, we're online pieces of trash. That's all. Yeah, it's all fun. <laughs> I did see a comment like knife fight sure thing, but like, no, seriously, I caught it in leg. It was, it was in a black school and okay. uh, I went to a lot of bad schools. Okay. I was trying to be a, I was trying to be a hoodlum back in the day. And as you could tell from my demeanor, I don't exactly fit the profile, but you know, when you grow up in the hood and you're brown, you either, you either down or you lay down. Do you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> so you're brown. What, what flavor of brown are you? Uh, the flavor of this avatar. Okay. Gotcha. Golden nugget brown. I'm like, a, actually, I could be a little lighter, but, you know, I plan on tanning this year. Got Is it. Is your hair longer than hers? Just, uh, I... Let me check. <laughs> <laughs> no, hers is slightly longer. Okay. Slightly. Right. Okay. Yeah, my hair That's is cool. right at my chest. I trimmed it. Because yeah, I had like the some... Indian and black women want to um, pay for his hair. <laughs> they want to buy his hair. I had a black girl hit me in a steel, like with a steel chair. <laughs> you school. have just been in all these violent altercations. I figured My that's goodness. normal. <laughs> you know, like a black girl gets mad. Like you see Twitter. It happens all the time. People are like, oh my God, black people attack people at school. Like, yeah, bro, it's been going on for like decades. Yeah, you know, just one day the girl got mad about my hair. Wham! And dude. Steel She's chairs? Mad. They She's hurt. Mad that you had luscious hair. That she was jelly. Oh, you cannot have long hair around black women in the hood. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> like it's just like oh, it, 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 the racism in the hood is just. I'm not even getting into it. The most racist altercations I've ever been in were around black people, which wow. is wild. <laughs> but it is uh, what it is. I've yeah. actually got a new video, a new school video where a black student. Beats his teacher, well, slaps the teacher a couple times. Yeah, go, that dude. This kid was tame compared to the kids oh I went God. to school with. Oh! Dude, dude I went to one school. Kid. Pause this. Oh. For real. One time, I was at this one school. I'm not giving the name of it. They dragged the teacher into the auditorium and they beat the shit out of that white guy. Like they oh. broke his leg. Oh he came back goodness. months later, and he was in crutches. He had, like, a neck brace on. I was like, holy shit. Oh, and also, I was gambling. This is why I don't gamble. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, I, really should... I definitely I should... can tell you're from upstate New York because you said leg. <laughs> <laughs> well, what am I supposed to call it? The leg. And now, leg is cool. Keep saying leg. <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> Like, in that school, I was gambling with the hall monitors and the gangsters. They would play craps and stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I've never had good luck, man. I had such bad credit, dude. They used to beat me up. <laughs> and they take credit. <laughs> I hate gambling. I've tried, the like... loan sharks after them in high school. I'm it wasn't loan like... sharks. It's gangsters. Oh. <laughs> Gangster sharks. Sharkeisha, no! <laughs> <laughs> there was a girl named Sharkeisha. Yeah, she keeps you something like that. Markeisha, no. <laughs> See, oh. this don't surprise me at all. Oh. The hood is wild. Goodness. See, I was homeschooled. I didn't have she to worry. She took that like a champ, though. She yeah, he's did. not as tough as he thought. Yeah. A lot of black guys aren't good at throwing fists for real. For hands. What's wrong with you? What you gonna do? Still sitting in that chair? You use a bitch. My granny. Mm. Stop. Then he just walks away. Yeah, yeah he's big, going to big jail. Man. Big man. I slapped that bitch in them ugly ass shoes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got a fifty dollar donation from Disco Cobra twenty thirteen. So not to derail the conversation or anything. What's the longest relationship you've both been in? If still single, what happened to mess it all up? Communication oh seems to be big thing. God. Oh my god! Oh goodness! <laughs> yeah, look, do Melody Mac. I could write a Bible. <laughs> Uh, six and a half years, I think. Um, yeah, I was married and we got a divorce. And mind you, I'm the one that lost money in that situation. Because even though I know most of the time the guys get screwed over, 
But if the guy doesn't work, then the girl gets screwed over. <laughs> oh, hell okay, yeah. so I need not to work. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> so anyway, I'm not I'm not gonna go into super specifics because that wasn't even why we separated. Um, it was other reasons, but I'm not gonna trash him on the internet. It's been almost four years. I'm over it. I hope he is happy. And I'm yeah, I'm past it. <laughs> See, well, give us more details. What led to the the breakup? Uh, goodness, I don't like to. I don't. I so he jerked off to porn, huh? No, he didn't do that. Wow. Um, it was. Uh, uh he was. I'll just say he was spending more time with other girls, and I. It was. That I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't want to get into it. Okay. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I'm not gonna like, like he might not have been working at the time either. That's that's a little No, bit he rough. wasn't. He wasn't either. So it was like yeah, it was a straw that broke the camel's back, but yeah. See, uh, Melody hangs in there with you even when you don't work. I know, six and a half years. <laughs> Wow, six I was put, in, I was put right in a in a situation though, because and I feel awful because I don't want to like I don't like to dish people's personal lives on the internet. Um, but I was put in that situation because like he he at the time was um he was a few years younger than me and he had oh she's a cougar ish uh, yeah I am <laughs> usually <laughs> but anyway he had issues with his family he was put in a situation where they were like okay you're done we disown you and they even called me and said he's your responsibility now and i had only at that time uh, i had didn't even we weren't even official boyfriend and girlfriend or anything and so um i told him that he could stay with me until he got on his feet and got a job and all that um and that never happened so i just kind of inherited the situation and i didn't have the heart to uh, when things got bad, I didn't have the heart to just kick him on the street. I, it was just, yeah, it was, yeah. I, I don't, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to. I don't like okay. telling people's personal oh lives. Oh my god, you yeah. go, girl! I've had a woman literally leave me because she hated the way I washed dishes. What? Meanwhile, Melody Mac hung in there. <laughs> I know. I'm. I. That's what I told you. Is I. I. I forgive Pete. I'm too forgiving for my own good, and then I get myself in bad situations and um. It, where I'm stuck in and yeah so it's like okay I, I I've been single I can for a long time ever since then and it's like okay yeah I've talked to guys here and there but never uh I haven't gotten in a relationship or I haven't even got on a date in like two and a half years or something what like is that. Melody Max type hmm Reddit uh, needs to know well I can tell you an anime boys um okay, let's <laughs> that's uh, chat don't even be put off by this no if I'm talking about IRL how... people this is how women are today. The amount of women that have told me their type of guy through anime has been staggering in the last five years. I'm going to guess Gojo. Yes, I love Gojo. I like, really like his personality Gojo. a lot. He's just fun, lighthearted, fun-loving. Uh, but I really like Toji. Um, I like Mahito. The, he's crazy, though. Mahito? <laughs> he's crazy. I, I, I'm he's picking Jujutsu Kaisen character. He is, but... Something See, about even him. the Christian girls something about him. The bad boys. I don't know what it is. Something about him. He's he's crazy. I, I like that. Um, <laughs> but no, if I'm thinking IRL guys, I really like Johnny Depp and Sleepy Hollow. Johnny Depp. Let me Google this. And Sleepy. Yes. Yeah, that was when um, the Barbara of Fleet Street. No. That, that was pre Amber Heard before, like the trial aged Johnny like forty years. I know before all that happened and the drugs, I think, or whatever else. Um, but yeah, he was great in that. Okay, so if you look like Johnny Depp during his <laughs> prime, you got a shot. Is there a height requirement? N taller than me. Um, I'm like five six, five seven. So I'm I'm not like I don't have doesn't have to be You're like not a, a six height queen. foot okay. tall or anything like that. Just taller than me. Yeah. Okay. What other celebrities we got here? Uh, let me think. Uh, I liked Brandon Lee in The Crow. Okay, I'm um, sensing a pattern. <laughs> yes. Um, I also another one who's like different than the the normal type because that those are the normal types that I go for is like that kind of look. Um, but. Uh, why am I forgetting his name? 
he was Harry Osborn in the old Spider-Man movies. DeFranco, uh, oh, didn't Franco. he get like James Franco? Wasn't he like kicked out of Hollywood for some weird sexual stuff? I think so, but he's attractive. <laughs> See, it doesn't matter, guys. <laughs> Even with the Christian girls, you gotta be good looking. That's well, yeah, but that's the thing is is different people are still attracted to different um like types and all that kind of stuff. So there's no like cookie cutter a guy has to be exactly like this that or the other i would say i fit the bill you uh let's see gojo's energy totally me outside of youtube except <laughs> i don't have any magic powers or gorgeous oh blue that's eyes. a bummer okay. yeah that's a real letdown Unacceptable. but it's Long okay hair, though, would I'm you get a knife fight if somebody if someone tried to hurt me that's the oh, question sure why not i mean if i get to dress like the crow like, okay i'm all for it all right, I'm good with that. <laughs> yeah, just don't oh, stand in front true. of any fake pistols. Uh, <laughs> don't worry, I got a bulletproof vest. I plan to oh, head yeah, you. that's right. Boom. Body uh, wear bulletproof vest. They also make you look a little bit more with thick. $10. Wait a minute, Stu is alive. Josh is Stu. I thought Stu was dead and Gunnam was schizophrenic talking to a corpse. No, he Stu is. is dead. <laughs> I am talking to a corpse. It happened during COVID. Stu bravely decided not to get the jabs in my honor <laughs> and then he died of lung cancer it's very tragic i'm just his cousin filling in <laughs> it's because we haven't come up with an idea for pest yet <laughs> like i sit in there like why would we make him stew we have to have a whole ecosystem we can't repeat characters already that's like season five stuff we're in season two <laughs> i need to uh, i have a guy that i'm talking to about getting my avatar made it, but it's going to take a little while, though. What is the Avatar going to be? I showed you the theme of it. It was um, the producer. Oh, yes. Now I remember. Yeah. Actually, I'll pull up a picture of it again. By the way, Melody Mac, do you have enough ass for Toto, honestly? Uh, I am kind of skinny, so I... But he likes ass. That's the thing. I, I I don't know. Like I I got some. I I'm not completely flat butted, but, but um, but I I'm I'm not like necessarily all caked up either. So, yeah. <laughs> that is the right phrase to use. I forgot. <laughs> Super cakes. Jujutsu Kaisen though, a amazing anime. Like it's I originally thought cool. it wouldn't be anything, and I was so wrong. Season two was so amazing. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Ah, there she is, guys. The perfect girl. All you got to do is look like Johnny Depp, Brandon Lee. <laughs> you got to no be like problem, a really guys. good looking guy. You got to make it, a lot of money. I don't think you need money for well, Max. Well, being as I was, I was married to someone who made no money before, I think it's safe to say I'm not a gold digger. <laughs> there you go, guys. I think I fit the bill of like Johnny Depp now where he's like losing his looks. And <laughs> <laughs> he's still dressing like he's a rocker, though. He hasn't let yeah. it go. Like Pirates 3, Johnny. Yeah, I'm in that phase <laughs> of my life. This is what my avatar would look like right here. Kind of a, like a 60s vibe. Long hair, glasses, mustache. That's cool. Maybe a suit. All right. Robert the Evans chat kids. loves it. Judging by the silence, I love it. Yes. <laughs> Thank y'all. <laughs> oh, wait, somebody wanted to like give Melly Malk some place to live in upstate New York. What was that I saw earlier? Oh, uh, yeah, that was right what? here. <laughs> cranky, old oh, cranky gamer. Too bad you're not in upstate New York anymore. I got room in the house, furnace basement and all. But here are the funds to get out of New York. Save your mercury laden soul. Thank you, sir. He also realized that mercury is the sweetest of all transition metals. <laughs> Fish joke. Okay. Melanie, what? Gotcha. Hmm? Tuna joke. <laughs> Do we have super chats to get through? Yes, we've got a couple of them. Uh, Mikey Gussler with $5. Gundam is your membership. Nine pieces of eight of reference to Pirates of the Caribbean 3 at World's End. If so, I love it. My favorite pirate movie. Of course. What else would it be? Um, Furious TV with five pounds. Why are you talking to fake conservative? Uh, they're pay piper to leave people their doom. 
Good Wait, what? That. She's part I of guess that's me. Movement? Yeah. Caught me. Uh, Wreck1990 with the five dollars. Poor nice hot goth mommy, but why do ladies love bums though? <laughs> I knew like twelve of them dudes, and they were all worthless. I don't want to talk bad about him though. Like I said, I hope he's really happy. I hope he figured his stuff out and all that. So I'm not here to throw anyone under the bus. Yeah, we're not. Yeah. That's to... life, you know. It, yeah. Once you accept female nature and all of its forms, dating doesn't hurt as much. <laughs> The uh, second Neo. you realize the biggest hurdle for you getting a girlfriend is how good you look. That's kind of for women of too, though. It's for everybody. Because, I mean. Uh, women get judged on a much lower scale. And my proof is 90 Day True. Fiance. Check out the recent season. Like, almost every fat woman that's six, 700 pounds has a husband or a boyfriend. But all mm. the fat guys, like, one out of ten has a wife or a girlfriend. That is a good point. But my answer to that is don't be fat. Like, I don't care <laughs> if someone's a girl or a guy. Don't be fat. There's no excuse. Don't be fat. Like, well, don't. I'm just making a point that the fat man is just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the fat man's got it bad, but he can fix it. Just like the fat women can fix it. But, yeah, I, the, the women do have it easier still. But don't be fat. I wonder, like, what Boogie2988's girlfriend, like, uh, goes down on him. Does she have to hold his belly up? I'm going to yeah, ask Star about that. It's physics. It's just, it's something that's been on my mind a lot lately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tobin Russell would too ask, we need pictures of you and your band get up. Oh, that's happened a thousand times before. I look like a delicious young woman. Mario Chirillo with a $5. Just some money for the escape from the East Coast commune land. You're my favorite semi-recovered drug addict. Best of luck, Gundam. <laughs> I um I don't feel that I'm a savvy recovered drug addict. I'm like a scientist. I'm experimenting. Oh. And YouTube has caused me so much psychological damage that I really need vitamins some days. <laughs> and on other days, I wake up and I have to drink for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But don't worry, Melanie. I don't ever get tore up. Okay, I just get got it. Just buzzed enough to be able to edit a video. <laughs> yeah, please don't check the live stream. I'm like four weeks back, titled Willy. Why Walker. would you? Why would you bring that up? Don't worry, I won't. That was a special stream in honor of Willy Wonka, a famous drug dealer in my area. Okay, that, listen. Okay, Melanie, I'm gonna pitch this to you. He Here, would make. On, let me get some music for it. Yeah, give me some Willy Wonka music. He made chocolates and candies and pastries. Mm -hmm. Lower the music. <laughs> he made all of these things and then put like LSD or mushrooms or cocaine. <laughs> I think he actually had mescaline, which is probably why everyone loved him. What's like that the, last one? What is that? I've never tried mescaline because he okay. died before I could get any. But my <laughs> friend. <laughs> what? <laughs> Telling a heartfelt Disney level story. <laughs> like this guy was beloved in the drug scene. He was an artist and a poet. Like a normal drug dealer would sell you just, you know, like an eight ball or something. But this guy, he would put it in powdered donuts. Like, I don't know. He was just, he was just so creative. And then he okay. died. Oh, and when he died, the whole area mourned him. He lived near this pizza place. I'm probably giving too much information. <laughs> If our friends were trying to get into his house to get his recipes. Uh -huh. But this guy was such a genius that he didn't write down his recipes. They were <gasps> all in his head. So, so he took his recipes to the grave like Ooh. the original creator of Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> Legendary. Or KFC's he, original recipe. <laughs> yes. This guy, I'll never forget him and I never met him. He was my mm. Akira Toriyama. Okay, that's amazing. Uh, th yeah. <laughs> Melody doesn't know to make a face. Thunder with that one. <laughs> Could you imagine M and M's that got you high? No, I no. They're not. They like melt in your mouth, not in your hand, and they melted your brain. <laughs> the dude was just melt in your brain, not your hand. Yes. Stupid. You're so stupid. It's a good thing you don't do anything, Melly, Melanie, yeah. because uh, I would have, you can't be around me because <laughs> I would ruin your life. 
Like, just try this. Trust me. And then before you know it, it's a pipeline. One day you smoke a little pot, you try mushrooms. I love them. The greatest high I've ever had. Ooh. And it's not a, you don't get sick. You don't get messed up. Mm-hmm. You just trip and the world is a beautiful place. Colors okay. are just brighter. <laughs> Things taste better. I was eating a cold piece of salmon and it was some of the best salmon I had. <laughs> You Since like my, seafood a lot. Packaged I do. Seafood. Salmon, tuna. Okay. I'm, I'm a very seafood type of guy. All right. The best salmon I ever had was my friend's wedding that ended in a year. The oh, black Thai mm-hmm. salmon. Oh, my God. These chefs at that place, they knew what they were doing. Each bite was a cornucopia in your mouth. <laughs> and while I was enjoying the salmon, my then girlfriend was like, isn't this wedding beautiful? I'm like, this salmon. This is just, oh my God, this salmon. And she goes, I hope they're happy together. And I look up and I'm eating and I'm like, I give it five years. And she goes, you are such an asshole. You don't know how to be happy for people. And I'm like, no, I know this girl. I know her type. She's got five years max. I was wrong. It was one. Oh, So, you know, even I fall off. I miss the mark sometimes. I like to, when I say, I like to try to live my life on hard mode where I no weed, no antidepressants, no anything, no drinking, and I eat carnivore diet, so just meat and eggs, and sometimes dairy if I'm really wanting to treat myself. It's really like, adventurous. Bring it on. I just want to bring it on. All the I don't care how sad or upset I am. I'm like, I can I can do this. I want a hard mode life right now. So <laughs> yeah, I've done that straight edge stuff for a couple of years. Uh let me tell you. <laughs> I like living on the edge. <laughs> Everything is too boring for me now. I think hard mode would be like. It can be brutal sometimes. Sometimes it's like, oh, man. Oh, there he goes. Oh, where'd he go? He's oh, like, I'm over it. He's grabbing <laughs> the bottle right now as we speak. That's right. He ran to it. Uh, let me go ahead and run through a couple of these real quick. Jettles with the Australian 15. Hey, from Australia. I've been watching you for many years, Gundam. I was thinking if you get the band going, that I fly over and see you guys play. Loving the live streams, but once a week is not enough. Well, who's going to do videos if I'm here every day? <laughs> By the way, uh, Pascal, we really got to get a uh, uh, Moonlight PC, whoever on the ball here. Meta I'm... PCs, please. Moonlight give me a call. PC. We sent the pitch deck to Meta PCs like a week and a half ago, and the guy was like, uh, I'm not going to say his name, but he was just like, yeah, we'll get back to you. You know, uh, the, we got everything we need. It's like, all right, cool. It's like 10 days ago. Uh, <laughs> Meta's great. My, I have a Meta PC. They're cool. God damn he it. needs they... one. He's, see what's happening? We keep losing it. Mm. Well, the, after uh, I started saying the F slur a lot on social media, that's when I was like, okay, um, I talked, well, some people got offended, but Meta was like, hey, we're still cool to, to sponsor you and all that. And I was like, well, I already lost another sponsor over that. I said, people keep hate tagging everybody, all my sponsors. Maybe we just keep it kind of on the down low. My code still works, but we're not going to push anything. So I don't want you guys to get negative repercussions for my behavior. So that's kind of how it's been, but they're chill. <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they should be fine with this. I mean, the most mm-hmm. controversial thing I said, what if I said it was controversial? Because I don't remember. Nothing. You've been Nothing. perfect yeah. angel. See, yeah, the, Melody the Mack F&T is vouching for me. The F&T mm-hmm. ver, uh, episode you were on, uh, you did great on there. It was the other guys, Nerd and Az, that everybody went crazy on that stream. Well, I know where the line down. is. Uh, like, I'm trying not to get anybody up. Uh, I used to be a bit crazy on other people's streams and I did some stuff on Drinker's stream that I regret doing because I realize now you can't use the bundle of sticks word. Oh. <laughs> uh, Scotty doesn't know with the $10. Gundam, tell Melanie how perfect I am for her since I didn't go to jail because of Xenix addiction <laughs> and I am as pale as Edward Cullen and as worthless as Hassan <laughs> Piker. I love Scotty. This guy is great. He was Aww. getting arrested. And he promoted my channel on the police body cam. This is a <laughs> real ride or die. Oh my God, where is Amazing. that? Amazing. I need that. Scotty's, got, Scotty's the guy you need in your corner. When I fall from grace and I start doing trash live streams like King Cobra JFS, I'm going to have Scotty just show up to my house periodically with like some sort of a uh, narcotic. <laughs> <laughs> Orion, Orion, 10 bucks. I love you, Gundam. You're my favorite drug addict. 
I'm experimenting. <laughs> the prime line with two pounds. Thank you both for the great work. We're proud of y'all. Well, thank you for tuning in. Thank you, sir, for appreciating this madness. <laughs> Sorry, I'm flossing. It's very important to have nice teeth. Oh, okay. Flossing's important. It is. <laughs> flossing the, the package tuna out of your teeth. Oh, no, we quit package. We're all with oh, can natural catch. Albacore. Okay. Use code. I don't have one. <laughs> uh, I think, yeah, I'm caught up with, uh, with the super chats. Wow. Ooh, solo oh, leveling. I've been wanting to watch that. I haven't seen it. I've been hearing that so much. I thought people were talking about like uh, Elden Ring or something. Oh, <laughs> yeah. An anime called solo leveling. Um, so apparently it's good. I need to see it. Yeah, a lot like of people Google have been mentioning that in the chat today. All right, I'll just have to steal it. I mean, <laughs> uh, buy it. <laughs> uh, Saren with the $10. Hey, Josh, I sent you my script outline for the Fallout mod on X. I know you and Gundam have a lot going on 24-7, but in your spare time, I'd love to put the put the work in on my end. Yes, I right. have Once your I get DM. It. I have your DM, Saren, so we will get... How big is the script? I haven't seen it yet, but he, he did see he he. I did talk to him, so he's probably sent it. I just haven't checked the chat. So, right, everybody's serious about this, so I will watch solo leveling. Um, Shuriam Ferguson with the five dollars bless blessing Breda Gundam asking, "Have you seen the new Crow trailer? Have you seen the Civil War? And when you're going to review the Shy Guys or Geeks Love?" All right, uh, the Crow trailer disgusted me. Yeah, I agree. It looked dumb. Uh, uh, the Civil War, I'm probably not going to see it. I uh, saw a trailer. I thought, oh, that seems foreboding for today's America. And that's as far as I've gotten. They said it was boring. They said it really wasn't much to it. Mm. Doesn't it have Kirsten Dunst in it? Yeah. Because I know she's been on the campaign trail bitching about Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> Nick Offerman is the president, but he's only on the movie for like what I heard, like two, three scenes. Sounds like fun. A good Tailgater old fashioned 51 time. with the ten dollars. Thanks for being my favorite minority. Thank you. I wish you worked at YouTube so I could get treated like a minority. <laughs> and get put in the algorithm. Uh, a time a time wasters account with five dollars. I'm currently unloading a fifty fifty three foot trailer, and I got to drive to Georgia next. It could be worse. At least I didn't live in NYC. Good luck on your escape. I can honestly say, yeah, you're doing better if you're not here. This is the working man's podcast. Like everyone that always uh, chats in, they're always in the middle of they're on the loading dock or the driving big rigs across the the U.S. God bless them. You need big rig drivers. And the oh, hell yeah. with electric big rig drivers. I mean, not the drivers themselves, but the hell with big rig electric trucks. That shit don't make no sense. Uh, Primal clown with the ten dollars. I'm stuck in Colorado and I can't get back to my country. But at least you can get out of New Woke or New Venezuela. It is turning into Venezuela, actually, now that I think about it. I Pop really wish I paid attention to Spanish class. <laughs> Pop and Rico with the $10 for the New York Escape for Gundam's Fund. Thank you so much. We also got five gifted subs from a Mari boy. Uh, he's back again, that wonderful Chad. Uh, Sean with the $10. What motorcycles have you owned? All sport bikes. Any off-road stuff? Sport moto, maybe. If you said on Twitter, I wouldn't see it. The effort you clearly put into editing is why I started watching. Um, I don't do anything but sports bikes. I can't stand cruisers. They're too boring. I don't do off-road. Everybody I know that does off-road breaks something. But then again, every guy I know that was on a sports bike, I, I had like six or seven friends die. Now I think about it. So I guess my logic there isn't really sound because the guys who broke a collarbone are still alive. Mike is dead. Oh, well. Uh, Darth Revan, one member for two months. You missed my super chat, you bastards. Just kidding. Love Melanie and love my boy Gundam. Keep the train rolling. I missed it. Hold on. I'll, I'll find it. He'll punish himself <laughs> later by looking yes, at two thousand dollars. myself. Trucks. I've been a bad boy, a bad <laughs> producer. I'm doing it to goodbye horses later on. It'll be a treat. Yeah, you'll have to watch Dylan Mulvaney and the quartering podcast with uh, Fresh and Fit. <laughs> Don't tempt me with a good time. Fire Dog with the ten dollars. Hi Gundam, I'm a firefighter, and I played your song "Drug King" for the guys at the station, and they loved it. You've got some new fans, Melanie. I love you. You're the best. Thank Number you. Number one, this guy is obviously based as hell. I could tell by his 
Avatar. That's Ricky Maru for Tenshu. God oh, bless you, sir. I played, wasn't there a Ricky Maru in Dota? That I don't know. I wasn't a Dota person. Okay. I remember playing that Ricky character. He was stealth. Oh, check this out. Knox with the $10 fixing war helicopters for the government. Thanks for the laughs. So we got military guys listening to the podcast. Military guys have like hooked me up with the oddest paints from overseas for years. God bless them all. And I will tell my band members that uh, the firefighters support us making music again. It's just trying to get them to do it. Like one of my friends was playing. He was playing a bar. He's like, they're, they're waving around machetes. I don't know if we're going to make it through the set. And I'm like, you want to keep doing this? Playing these chicken shit rigs where people are about to kill each other with machetes? Ah, forget it. I, I don't need to bore people with my life. <laughs> oh, I found it, Dark Revan. A scrape from New York Money Fund. I'm rocking that 20, 2003 E46 M3. Uh, Need for Speed W05 Life. 180K. Still runs like a champ. Go old school to run forever. Hell yeah. M3s, they were the shit back in high school. Oh, the M3 BMWs? Yeah, that's what he's got. The old school kind. The two-door. Yeah, those are classic. I'm looking. Uh, Everybody's got a cooler car than me these days, except Melanie Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Once I get that Gojo skin on it, though, then I'm serious. I will. We could probably make the Gojo skin happen <laughs> just for the fucking lols. That would be a great like Indiegogo or or. Uh, we don't even need the Indiegogo. It couldn't be anything more than like five hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Man, that would be a good. Uh, that'd be a good video. That would. I think it would still be funny to do an Indiegogo for it. <laughs> yeah, you do an Indiegogo, you get enough money to buy a whole new car. Yeah, but I don't. I, I just get the skin on it and save the rest. <laughs> and then Melissa McCarthy goes crazy. Melody Max Indiegogo gets up to $100,000 and she just buys a sticker and puts it on her fucking car. <laughs> then she eats a stick of butter. <laughs> God damn it. I got to find this guy. I forgot his goddamn name. Uh, you, so what are you me. looking for? Uh, it's an associate from uh, uh, the days when I was okay, putting motorcycles on the racetrack. Adonis with $5 got fired. So I'm watching my favorite YouTuber smoking train, le train wreck like my life right now. Your shit talk keeps me going. Thanks, bruh. God bless you. Losing uh, your job worthy. sucks. And then your only source of entertainment is my bullshit. You're on hard <laughs> times, brother. <laughs> We are truly sorry. Uh, but we're going to get Melody Mack a Gojo decal on her car. That's like That's going to be one of my projects for this summer. It's going to be Because it's so stupid. <laughs> it has to happen. I can't wait. <laughs> uh, the worthy one with $5. Hey, Gundam. Here's an anime recommendation. Fruto Hit me with it. P Fruto P.I. If you're into. I'm not even going to say that. Uh, genre, you might like it. It's also a Kamen Rider anime. Kamen Rider. Kamen Rider. Oh, we got a couple more. CJ Sarah with a $20. <clears throat> you hear a Kanta Black or a Black 4.0, and you would consider painting Gundam parts with it. You hear what? Uh, I don't get that one. Mm. Do you get it, Millie Mac? Like, uh, I, I don't. Hmm. Uh, painting Gundam Maybe parts? Maybe it could be an Kanta airbrush. Black. Oh, my. Is that a painting? Is that a airbrush gun or something? I don't know. It could be a paint, maybe. Oh, I got a nut. Pixie, I think Josh skipped my super chat too. I'm sure <laughs> Melanie would have loved it. Oh no, I'm slacking oh. on my slacking on my pimping. Let me uh, find it real quick because that's what we do here at this show. We don't just uh, not read your super chats. I'm guessing Conta Black is a color. Oh, that's someone said it he like. meant Vanta Black. Vanta. Oh, yeah, no. that's that what dark black. That? I think so. That's Vanta that black that black. is like infinite black. Oh, it is. That is cool. I guess I could. It looks kind of matte. That's ridiculously black. That is. You know, it reminds me of the uh, Mastermind's Perfect Grade Unicorn, which is this sort of black, but it's shiny. Uh, it's $1,000. Pixie did put in a super chat for $10. Is there a possibility you can tell the Christmas party story with your uncle in the tree? Been trying to find it in the old streams, but too many to sift through. Oh, man. Not my childhood again. 
Well, let's hear about Melody's childhood. Like, all of my stories are the same miserable shit. Is it Dark Side Phil? Dark Side Phil has donated 5,000 yen. Okay, yen. that's 50 cents. That's 50 cents. No, it's actually 50 bucks. Uh, really? Snore from Tokyo. Yeah, Snore from Tokyo, Japan. Tokosam loves you. If you ever want to live in Tokyo, I run a company here and you can hook up with a visa. Give yourself a real 3D life <laughs> in Japan. Well, Phil, for $32, I might have to take you up on that offer. <laughs> the yen is plummeting. The yen is plummeting. Defender X was five. I own a Survivor 1976 Ford Gran Torino Elite. Nice. Duels with glass packs and a 351M. Here, awesome. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, let sh I'll show chat what I drive because a couple people did ask. All right, people, get get ready to be okay. fucking. Oh shit! Oh, that is really nice. That's the oh, a, that's a nice car, dude. The Gran Torino. I recognize this. Yeah, Gran Torino. This Torino's is legendary. Are, are shit. Especially if you have the red one with the iconic white stripe. That's badass. Ooh. Yeah, it's a 2020 Ford Raptor Black Ops Edition. Call of I Duty. Put, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it actually is. That is awesome. I put uh, the Fox Racing suspension on there. That's why I was so into this Fox truck earlier, because they did my suspension in my truck, too. But, yeah, somebody, uh, they door ding one of my um, fender flares, so now there's, like, a two-inch cut. And they drove away. It was like I was in the grocery store. I came out. I could see Why the people, fuck like, they stick around? Like, do you know how much that car costs? Yeah, <laughs> well, you know. do know. They would be like, what the fuck? I didn't notice, so I got home, and then I put it all together. But yeah, I love Ford Raptors. They're the best trucks you can buy, Chad. He's biased. Yeah, I am. See? But uh, yeah, I think that was the last of the... Wait. There was a load you forgot, like two or three of mine. There was a couple. Josh skipping a lot today. Missed two of mine. Uh, they can't, I didn't read a few of them. Some of them I just put up if they were like... Um, during the uh, the interview time, tricorder transmission with the five dollars. Don't know what I like more, fundamental plus Melanie, or watching Johnny Somali get his ass kicked. Help me decide to pop a Gundam. Much love. Well, Johnny <laughs> Somali getting beating up was pretty funny. Like they they shook him up like a dry martini. Uh, toaster, I love toast with five dollars. I have a 2012 WRX and I love it. Raven, you're a goat for having the NSF MW03 car. I love the game. Best Need for Speed game. Need for Speed Most Wanted. That's probably what that that stands for. Yeah, when I get my next Mustang, and then I might show it off, but I might not. Skip my earlier super chat, Josh. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Sometimes when uh, when the guest is talking, I don't like to interrupt. But I'll stay late and do it by myself because I, we're at like a three and a half hours. And I don't I don't know how much longer. Ms. Yeah, Melanie we can, can probably have around. to let Melanie Mac go because this has been a long time of foolishness. It was fun. Fun foolishness. All right. I got contact with the guys I need to talk to about like a yes. the Gojo thing. What's this car again? Okay. Honda Fit Hatchback. Uh, what year? 2018. 2018. <laughs> All right, I'm going to contact them. I love this. Oh, okay. we're, on the, we're on the case now. Oops, I forgot that my thing reacts to be typing. <laughs> oh, your face is all earthed up. Wow, this I'm really glad I showed up today for this. Now I'm going to get a souped up Gojo sticker on my car. <laughs> well, there is going to be like one caveat that I left out. Okay. Um, you probably have to install it yourself. That's fine. I can make a video out of it. <laughs> there we go. Thank Decals you, Kyle, are dead hard. <laughs> at least I got one person in my in my in my corner. Look at that. That's so nice. So nice. Well, if somebody else came in here and did something where I could just do something goofy with them, who like if uh, who could I think of? Who else have we had? Like if Ratanga said he wanted to put some dumb shit on his car, you better believe I would. Totally helped for Tanga put dumb shit on his car. Or Kirsha, <laughs> that would you know anime out her car. That she put like catch up on Kirsha. Yeah, she is good. She was one of uh, our best shows, actually. I can't believe the chat. Papa wants some pussy 
he's being a hoe. This is funny. <laughs> Putting Look fucking Gojo on a Honda Fit. What the hell is this thing? Uh, a bonus bad. chaplain. That's my boy right there. You're doing fine, Pass. Deploy to get more money to donate by missing Chax's tactical genius. It's, Ooh, it's not. Smart. I'm not missing it on purpose. I swear. There's no, uh, there's no machinations behind the scenes. Are we at the end of the show, I take it? Uh, we're at the Miss Melanie's at the end of the show. Do you have anything that you want to plug for the chat? Let them know where you are this week. Uh, yeah, you guys can watch me at Melanie Mac go boom for my nerdy commentary stuff. And then my Bible channel, Bible time with Melanie Mac. And then I'm on the quarter rings podcast at quarter cast live. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Awesome. Sounds like a plan. You can listen to her, read the Bible, and probably make you aware of how you're probably going to burn in hell. You know? <laughs> so I but would you recommend don't have to. You don't have to burn in hell. There's a way out. <laughs> there you go. Smokey, here's right. your water. Thank Whoa. you for being on this goofy show. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much for having me. This was amazing. I'd wave, but my hands I didn't set up the camera for. <laughs> okay, all good. <laughs> all, right. all right. Well, we appreciate you coming on, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye. See Bye. ya. Oh, that was great. Um, I've got a few more Super Chats, and then we'll end up. Uh, while I'm reading this out, chat, if you want to give me an idea of which song we should play tonight to close everything out, that would be really good because I haven't thought of anything. <laughs> uh, Obradillo with the $10. Be sure to install the Fix It mod for Fallout and Project Restoration for Fallout 2 for important bug fixes, QOL features, and even restored cut content. There's a save editor that you can replace, that you can respect stats. Uh, Sir Reefer's been a member for two months. Hey, Gundam. I just Wait, is that like I the original Fallout 2, or is he talking about like a modded version for like uh, one of the newer engines? Like three Fix or mod New Vegas. for Fallout 1. And for Fallout oh, yeah, 2. right. He's right. Yeah, I heard about that one. I'd love to sit and play that shit, dude. Uh, Sir Reefer had been a member for two months. Hey, Gundam, I just wanted to say I found the old Fallout Mini Nuke anthology for $78 on eBay. Hey, wasn't that thing oh, you tweeted man. about earlier? Or, or the other day? He got it for 78 bucks. I wonder how much I pay. Oh, Christ, my face They've again. Got, it's on either. It's on eBay for 78 Well, the new one just came out. So basically, I would expect there to be them online for cheap. Before, like uh, the last one they put out, it went for way more. So, if you're looking to flip something, that might be it. Um, fantastic Mr. Knox with Australian 2. My car is wrapped in Ray Amani.com. Find it on Google. Is that Ray? For some reason, I want to say Ayanami, but I could be wrong. Uh, Pona Chaplin votes Blood for Sun tonight. Maverick Tide with the 10. Josh, why did you fumble the bag? Don't make me call Ziltex on YouTube. <laughs> Please. I contacted Ziltex. He made a quick message and left again. Eat it. So take your meme and shove it up your fucking ass. Uh, and let me see what the chat's saying. What are they saying about what they want to play tonight? Do you want to hear some snort wave or do y'all... I, I can't play Blood for Sun because we're, we're going to be putting... A, Gundam's putting that out, so I don't want to play it again. It's going to happen very soon. I'm going to try and free up some more free time. Then try and get something good going on. It's a little difficult. I've put way too much time in my DBZ tribute video, honest to God. Ridiculous You, you want to give them a little bit of preview for that? Some, uh, some of the pictures? Uh, some I have some on that. my Twitter. Yeah, I'll pull the ones up for the Twitter. Um... We can do that real quick because that is a that does look really nice, dude. You know, I just had an idea. What was that? I might want to get one of these like decal things done of like obviously a naked woman or something, and then put it on my friend's uh, Honda. Like them not know about it. Yeah, like <laughs> while he's at work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna steal an idea for Tom Greed and write slut mobile. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I remember that. Shows how uh, creatively bankrupt I am. There we go. This is the 
Dragon Ball Z project that he's been working on for like what a month now? Ever since yeah, Toriyama it's... died. You know what's funny? I type in the Slutmobile and I do get some of Tom Green, but I'm also being directed to women's Twitter posts. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Slut mobile. That's probably what it like. Mobile sluts. I do like mobile sluts. Uh, the Vegeta is a total track. failure. Oh, failure. Yeah, uh, I printed him up. I had some issues. I think I kind of figured him out. That's uh, Goku's upper body. Still working on that. It's kind of done-ish. I think I'm going to pull out the areas that are all marked up on him and maybe make it look like they're blood or something. You know, like little scratches. Not too heavy. Not retarded. The Dragon Ball Z emblem, you have no idea how much time that took. Yeah, now see. Scroll down, yeah. We got the gray one and then i think i spent probably an hour easy on that without even realizing it that looks good though that looks really good i'm trying like how to capture the very energy of dragon ball z i'm just putting everything i've got into it are those hands yeah those are yeah. fists. okay uh, i think people might be pleased with it when i they'll think it's cool looking i think Old the cranky video, gamer with the like ten. Gamer poets has a great and easy guide to play Fallout One and Fallout Two on modern sister systems. Must plays. The story is Chef's Kiss. You know what? Can I play it on Steam Deck, Cranky Gamer? I probably can't because it's, it's it's obviously like a mouse and keyboard type of game. Ugh. Uh, Kershey wants to go out again after her vacation. Yeah, she did yeah. say she wanted to come back to the show. I was well, going to we'll say, I don't recall her saying she wants to go out, sir. Right. <laughs> Fallout, fix it outdated. Use Fallout 1 instead of 2 instead. Uh, Echo Castellano with $2. Vote Snort Wave tonight. Matthew Harder with the $20. Hurry up and get <laughs> to Texas, you broke in, Jen. Also, give us another Gundam lore story like the cat hair ring. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've got a lot of goofy stories. There's this one chick. That I was involved with. Very weird. She's gorgeous though. Don't really mess with gothic girls. Unless um, you have the mental capacity. For their insanity. Because if a gothic girl is single. She's crazy every time. Every single time. There's just no way around it. They just they're wired that way. She used to hate pornography. Right? So obviously as a degenerate. Such as myself. Beating off to pornography was an issue. But the weird thing was. She used to work in. A porn store like how do you hate porn but you work at an adult store you know it doesn't make sense like they're selling dildos and whatnot then long story she also had a short fuse which is weird and she didn't eat like this chick would literally like starve herself and they had to reline her stomach uh, it's just insanity long story short uh she got into a knife fight with a black dude and lost <laughs> and i'm like what are you doing pixie and she sends me photos of where he stabbed her it's fucking disgusting dude like her upper shoulder was cut wide open. She was nutty. Dang. But you know, um, you're just trying to get laid by attractive chicks. You really endure stupid stuff. <laughs> you will put up a lot. Oh, God. Someone said Rip Gothy. How dare you? <laughs> I would never touch any woman that looked like Gothy. She has no front teeth. Uh, Sir Reefer with the $20. The anthology that I found for $78 was the one released in 15 with actual game disc. Not you, the new whoa. one because I'm not playing 76. I wanted to brag a bit because it's funny. Nice. That's actually nice. I'm looking it up now. That's the one I want. Ah, what? Why is it $200 for me? <laughs> Put it up on screen. Uh, I'm going to look for a pre-owned one. Can you go with the the uh, super chats while I try okay, to find this? Uh, hold on, let me just go to that part where I people saying I miss. Yo soy Bob also with the five dollars. Gundam, are you Haitian? If so, how do you like Mexican food, alive or cooked? But I'm it's a joke. What's up? <laughs> Good joke because a lot of people do think I'm Haitian for some reason. Louis Cervasis, Cervasis with the five dollars. Not gonna lie, Finster looks more feminine than most of these game journos. You're actually you know, not right. You know, that is like something we really don't need to think about or acknowledge today. 
the opinionated junkie with the five dollars, the same people who cry about corporations vote in people that fund or is funded or being funded those same corporations. They are sleepwalking, not woke. Yeah, it's hard to find anyone that isn't funded by some bullshit these days. Beelzebub Pig Venus with the Canadian Five. That Minecraft, Minecraft streamer is going to use that gun for the 41% of his transitioning. For the 41% Uh-oh. of his transitioning. Uh, uh, Doug, crap. Douglas Miller with the 50. Take my money, bigot. I need Mama Melanie to step on my face and call me the F word, Crisis King. Ah, crap. We could have gotten Mel. You know, I... No. I wasn't going to, like, grill Melody too hard on, like, the weird stuff that goes on about her Reddit. And then, yeah, you know, pulling up I, this, stuff like this. This comment actually came up in the middle, and I wanted to read it out, but I was like, mm, That's on one that should have been read, I think. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Spencer, he can literally go fun himself. <laughs> uh, ben Kazar with the $10. Love the stream, as always, and love the guests you keep bringing on. It's a pleasure to welcome you to the madness, Melanie. Uh, Godzilla95 with $2. Welcome to Florida, Gundam. We have Midget Wrestling. We do. <laughs> what? Midget Wrestling still <laughs> Midget exists wrestling. in Florida? And Gator Wrestling. Uh, gator the, Wrestling? Yeah, you can wrestle gators, too. Oh, I'm not fucking with that. <laughs> the Ministry of Wrong Thing with $5. The stream's still up. What? You guys working on a five-second delay or what? We really should do something like that. Maybe. Egonis most Esquire with five dollars. Love it when Melanie's accent comes on strong. It's glorious. Uh Omaris with the five dollars. Deuteronomy two twenty two five are words to live by. Great, we don't have Melody to tell us. Uh don't uh Ufinar with the ten dollars. Don't forget about that secret Discord server. Mel and I hope y'all can escape New York as I am trying to escape Massachusetts. Now, here's not as bad as New York, to be real. Commando CQC with the $10. Gundam, thank you for the years of entertainment, although you let me down a King Cobra rabbit hole. Here's some money for the escape fund, and the Fallout TV show is actually not that bad. Shocked. Yeah, we're the gonna Fallout talk about TV Fallout. show, oh, go ahead. Uh, it's all right. You know, that's how I feel. I Because everything that's usually adapted is trash, we finally got something that's okay, and everybody's like, oh, my God, it's absolutely amazing. I would say Fallout's kind of mid. It's not bad. It's not great. It misses some things in lore. But then again, you know, who's really going to sit here outside of an idiot like me and care that much about it? So for what it is, I'd say it's decent. I have no real bones about it. It does have the usual tropes, though. Like the black guy is so stupid so far. The Brotherhood of Steel member. That his whole arc doesn't make sense to me. The ghoul is badass, though. I like him. Yeah. The, but it's the really actor, weird. The yeah, actor the from good. the... Um, the Brotherhood of Steel, he's not good. No, he's terrible. Yeah. Oh, I can't stand that guy. He pops up and I'm like, oh, I want to turn this off. The one thing I did find odd is it's supposed to be 1950s Americana. Like, it was weird that they had an interracial relationship. And this is coming from a minority. You know, I'm just like, that doesn't make sense with That's the timeline. That's what I was wondering. Cause like, it, but if someone, you say anything, everybody acts like you're a racist. As someone that hasn't played the games as much as you have, the um, I thought watching the show that it was American 50s Americana, but like later on, like it would be like the eighties, but they just didn't like transition it's like, that much. Yeah. It's a really weird fifties sort of futuristic fifties. It's like how the fifties envision the future kind of vibe. Mm-hmm. Someone in chat goes, it is bad. I'm trying to be more objective rather than just shitting on everything. That's my thing. I know most of the people watching this shit, um, they aren't that into fallout lore. They're not sitting there trying to find out about the master for like, Four hours in a day while editing, you know? So it had to be, it's just the perfect sort of show for normies, in my opinion, to get into Fallout. And then when you think about Fallout, the lure's already been fucked ever since Bethesda took over. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And the beauty of Fallout is now that its lure is so kind of fucked that it's so ambiguous. They can just make it up as they go, which makes Fallout the perfect show to turn in, the perfect IP to turn to a TV show. Because you can kind of do whatever you want about with it, especially with Vault Tech. Technically, there weren't connected vaults that I remember from the original Fallout and the guy who created it. But with the way Fallout is, you can sit there and go, oh, Vault Tech decided to create connected vaults to fight inbreeding. And it would make total sense in the show and the lore. But we're not going through all of that today because it sounds like I'm reviewing the goddamn thing and I don't want to. Fuck, I gave all my water to a cat. 
Uh, we're almost done right here. They had, there's one thing, they had a picture, um, inside of the show that showed all the vaults, how they're connected, but I just didn't understand, like, how, this is a lot of space right here. Well, the vaults, this is just new, but, um, normally vault tech was, everything was isolated. The vaults were sort of experiments for the enclave. The enclave was kind of like the U.S. government and all of their family members and descendants. So they like they the enclave viewed themselves as the true inheritors of America. And all the people in vaults in vault techs weren't considered Americans anymore. They're kind of like lab rats. So vault tech would test all this sort of shit on people and they collect the information for the enclave. So like one vault would have 100 men and one woman. And then another vault would have one man and 100 women. Or one vault literally had one dude and one panther. What? Like, yeah, like it Fallout lore is insane and it's cool and interesting. And it's also fucked up. So it leaves you with a lot of freedom to just be wild with it for the TV show. See, so I'm I have up, to, yeah. I'm up to episode six and they've got to vault four and they've realized that there's experiments going on, but that's as far as I've gotten in the show. Up until then, like episodes three to five, it's a little bit of a filler. But yeah, six has been a great episode so far. And I'm still, I think I'm on three. I'm trying to find all oh, Gary clones. There's another one. Thank you, Ludwig. So vault was just insane. And I think that could be definitely an interesting thing. They explore later. That could be really funny and screwed up. They even have one vault where they expose people to radiation over time to see what the hell would happen. Uh, K John with the $5 Gundam play. Gundam Battle Operation 2, it's UC-based. It'll give you a reason to use your PS5. Oh, wait. Is that the online game? You know what? I don't like Battle Operation 2 too much. Believe it or not, I thought I'd love it, and I kind of don't. Uh, Living Weapon Iron Fist with $5. As a, cello, as a seller of digital dark 3D pinups and jiggly sticks, it's the small pieces normally that take time. Love crazy women. They're the most fun. Jamie Con, uh, Jamie Converse. They also break your heart and they break your mind and they screw you up for years to come. And then out of nowhere, they just start texting you years later. And the cycle ain't continues. That, ain't that the truth? Remember me from high school? Yes, I do. You bitch. <laughs> Thanks, Gundam. You're always unfiltered and I love it. Thank you, sir. Uh, Sir Reefer, five dollars. I had midget wrestling where I'm at. I got a pick, pick with Bridget the midget. Wow, you know I got a question. In Florida, do uh, they have um, mud wrestling between hot chicks anymore? Is that over? No, they still have that. Cool. In, in uh, Florida, it's total nude, topless, bottomless. Yeah, oh, man, you're making a case for Florida. Telling I don't think they got that in Texas. When that thing that I was telling you about goes down, you need to come on down and visit for a little bit. I don't even remember what thing you talk about. I don't remember. We'll talk about it later because I don't remember. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Uh, Chaos Actual with the $2. It's a Gundam OnlyFans win? When I'm dead. Because uh, all the dudes I know that are straight that do OnlyFans, they're like stuffing shit up their ass. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm not even joking. He's right. And I'm like, that's not straight. That's kind of gay. Uh, Roshi Osama with five dollars. Sock Passe Gundam. Have you heard the single mom song? We're gonna have to look that up after the show. I'm gonna have a drink. Old, old cranky gamer with the ten dollars. I am just tired of the black male comedic sidekick pet to the female lead. What the fuck is up with that trope? So that's what the Brotherhood of Steel dude turns into. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. And the thing about it was, is like his character starting off, I thought he was like a broody character. You know, he uh, kills the, I don't want to give away spoilers, but he kills some of his own people to get to where he's at. And I'm like, well, this is kind of like Finn. If Finn was hardcore from Star Wars, episode seven, eight, nine, this is like the Finn hardcore version. But then he just turns into a bitch. A bit I feel like the way they handled the Brotherhood of Steel is trash in this show. And they I'm not even like gonna... they're stupid. Yeah, I'm not even going to get into how the Brotherhood of Steel seceded from the American government during, like, right before World War III. And the first Maxon of the Maxon bloodline literally led them across the barren wasteland of America to establish the Brotherhood of Steel. It's a whole lot of lore there. And the Brotherhood of Steel, they now show in the show, doesn't seem like they're capable 
together. They seem stupid. They seem useless. There seems to be like no honor in the Paladin system or something, which is so weird. Like Micah Rappaport really threw me off. Um, yeah, that was weird when he took the And the, the fact that they're off. out on a base out in the open, that makes no sense to me because the Brotherhood of Steel was very isolationist and they usually stuck to bunkers. But on the other end, someone could go, well, it takes place after Fallout 4. And um, I forgot the name of the Maxon in Boston, but uh, he was more open to the Brotherhood being in the wasteland and meeting with people like his grandfather or something. No, we're not getting into this. We don't have time and I, my throat yeah, is dry. Yeah, going to be a whole video chat. Just wait for it. It's coming. Snoopy Diz was five. Tim Kane said the vaults the vaults were originally for researching tech to leave the planet. Oh, good point. Yes, I forgot about that. Uh, Maverick seventy five oh eight with two pass. What do you think of the Prego Vor scene? I don't even just want move to on. Know. I don't just know. move on. I learned about Camacho that from my Q assistant. QC. We need a vault experiment of eating King Cobra's food and see wh who can stay. That would be an experiment. For no, you don't right need there. an experiment. You've already seen what happened to Cobra and fucking now. And I learned recently okay. that King Cobra doesn't wash himself. So, like, when now went home, she had a tonsil infection from his dirty bits in his mouth. <laughs> and he had another girlfriend that had the same problem. Wild. Dude. Oh, God. Oof. Vault 11 was wild, but seems like it's realistic. Uh, fantastic, oh. Mr. Knox. Uh, I need a vault experiment on whether these progressives can survive their socialist commune. You don't need a vault experiment. You saw what happened in California. Defender X with $5. Hey, Gundam, I sent you a picture of my car on your Twitter if you wanted to see it. Uh, you know, I'm probably going to miss that, dude, because Twitter only allows me to see 100 notifications. So the second that 100 notifications is up, I see nothing. Uh, and that's Wait, it. That was the I last think that's the guy. That nice. The All Gran right. Torino looks a lot like uh, the old Plymouth Volari, the 77. I used to drive one of those. I love that car. Uh, there's a couple. I actually, to those who are interested, the Barrett Jackson auction is this weekend. And I, I know people don't like bidding on cars, but I do. And uh, you can get a good fun. deal sometimes. They are. There's a few, a couple of good deals on there this year. My sister's trying to get me to find her a, a 1970. Not 1969 or 1970 Ford Bronco that's been restored with a modern engine, like a resto mod. And then what's she, she going to do? Drive away from the police, pretend to be OJ Simpson? Pretty much. This is the smaller ones. The smaller, like the ones that the, you know, the girls love, like the Jeep looking things. Not the big Bronco. I would like to have the big Bronco. But she wants one of those. And I'm just like, well, whatever. The only place to find it is Barrett Jackson. Those things are expensive, bro. They're like, $80,000. Everything's expensive, dude. Like Dodge Vipers are now worth more than when they first came out. Yeah, no. They just For some stopped, reason, hmm? they just sold one like they had stopped making them in 2017 and I guess they still had some in the warehouse. They wow. sold one this past quarter. I was like looking at used price. ones. <laughs> they're still expensive. They're fuck, they're so expensive. Yeah, they're like 80 now and they used to be like uh 50 or 60k. Now they're 80k. Yeah. Thanks, Bidenomics. Doesn't matter if anybody's making money now. The fucking shit ain't worth nothing. Yeah. But they'll tax you for it. That's for fucking sure. Oh, they're going to get their cut. I had to put my extension in the other day. and Because uh, I was like, no, y'all going to have to wait <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> These interest rates are too good. Why didn't I think of that? Well, All right. You want to sign us off? I'm tired as a motherfucker. Uh, what can I say that hasn't already been said? We laughed a lot. We learned a lot. My avatar is going absolutely crazy. My computer is dying. I could use a drink. Things are too expensive and not very good. The country is burning. People are invading. And our tax dollars are going to protect other people's borders. But at the end of the day, it all doesn't matter as long as you're happy with yourself. Find something to laugh at and enjoy. Time that you can waste and enjoy wasting is time not wasted at all. <sighs> what more can I say than that? One day you're broke, the next you're thinking about that dream guitar that you really want. What the hell is that? Eat it. <laughs> that 1959 Gibson Les Paul that eludes you. 
I was so close to buying a Jimmy Page. No, not Jimmy Page. I was going to buy a J double neck Gibson SG. I was going to go Walnut. They're cheaper than the red ones. Gibson, these sons of bitches, put out the Jimmy Page official double neck guitar, Stairway to Heaven, signed by Jimmy Page. Now every 1970s double neck Gibson SG is like 10 grand. I can't take this time no more, man. I was trying to be like inspirational, but I shouldn't have thought about guitars. Play me some DSP. Let's get out of here. Give me your mailing address. Chala. Your spoon. Head so Chala. Get shit out of my fucking ass. I'm tired of people saying that because I am who I am. I can't say a factual observation. Shut the fuck up. Move it more. Who? Eat it. Kiss my fucking ass and lick my ball. Eat it. Fucking eat it. Oh, he's doing the meat. Oh, this is strange. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. I am fucking base. Lick my ball. Eat it. Fucking eat it. Shut the fuck up. Take your fucking ass and eat it. Eat it. Kiwi farms. I want to mail you a spoon on a daily fucking basis. Pills are racist, pills are sexist, pills this, pills that. I am who I am, I am fucking based. Eat it, kiss my fucking ass and lick my ball. Eat it, fucking eat it. Oh, he's doing the meat. Oh, this is strange. Eat it, eat it. I got incredibly animated and emotional and upset because people on the internet tend to think that because, oh, a lot of people make fun of him and, and you know, call him a lolicow or whatever, that apparently I don't have the right to state facts.